on a simple lean-to on the outskirts of the destroyed palisade. Inside, we find Hannah, Betty, Violet, and Braga standing in the circle of a golden sundial. On the outside of the dial, channeling her magic, is Elra the fortune teller, who has just revealed herself to be Krona, the goddess of time. And standing next to her is Dee, still on her arm, the mark of Narigoth. Elra looks at the four of you and one last time warns, do not interact with your past selves. I will be watching and you will know. Now my queens, please save Palisades. As she taps her staff on the golden sundial and you suddenly feel yourselves traveling through time, flowing and moving and as the realms and forms shape and shift and shape around you, you find yourselves landing outside of the Palisades Town, the Palisade Town Hall building, where inside you can hear a conundrum of voices raising and riling and arguing with each other. Bah! You ain't thinking clearly. It's a minor problem at best. Now we can finally discuss the beer championships I've been requesting for. To silence, silence! You hear Mayor Kane speak over the crowd. We will solve this issue, citizens. We must eliminate the core problem first. And I think you all know who I am referring. And in that instant, the window crashes. A body, you see it from the outside of the building, a body goes flying into the town hall. And there, around the corner, you can see past Hannah, past Betty, past Violet, and past Dee. And then suddenly, as you stare at your past selves, remembering this moment in your mind, you hear a voice behind you. Now, what did you do this time? You turn around and it's Sawyer. Standing there. <laughs> As you begin to hear the rumblings of a brawl in the streets where your past selves are standing. The brawl is getting louder and louder. Uh, nothing. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And don't you think you should check out what's going on? That sounds like, yeah. a, sounds like a problem. Yeah, yeah something yeah. bad's gonna happen over there. I'm well, looking for the peaches. I don't know where they're at. They're just uh, but peaches. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yes. Yeah, we're just Braga, I will say. And I will say this. The four of you realize that you are now standing in the clothes that you were originally wearing during this time as well. So Braga, you are in your original peach outfit. And the rest of you are wearing your original armaments. And Hannah, you find that your hair is still covering your horns as you have yet to be... You have yet to reveal... Your true oh, self to the gosh. town. Do we have our items from before or no? I will say you have your current items, yes. Your clothes have just been that to match the time. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to just slightly preface that I'm sure I, I like made sure I brought weapons because I didn't for the hotel. I have your weapons. We all got them. We all got them. You all of your weapons <clears throat> are here. Listen, I... I, I warned you last night not to do this. I swear, rat queens, why do you... And then in an instant, you see this bottle hit Sawyer in the side of his head, and he slumps against a wall. As you see this small dwarven man, just like, I'm gonna fight me some rat queens as he runs over. Y'all think you could come in and tell my adventuring group that we're a bunch of nobodies? Well, I'm gonna take you down right now. You're gonna, this is a real brawling sitch right uh, here. I grab... Uh, I still have gold because we made a lot of money earlier. I grab a gold piece and I'm like, "Woo, free money!" and I just throw it. <laughs> Roll me. That's brilliant. Roll me two d six. I'm gonna say, um, can- I'm gonna say can- plus. I'm gonna say candy. Yes, candy? plus candy. Yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, six, Ooh. seven, eight, nine, ten. What gold? <laughs> Manny! <laughs> Go get it! You <laughs> see the small dwarf and like... And you, just, and you see the gold <laughs> coin just kind of like it starts to roll into the middle of this fight where you see your past selves just flinging lightning bolts. Uh, Betty, your past self is on the back of one of the uh, of one of the <laughs> brother ponies. You're pulling <laughs> on the back of his ponytail and you're kind of riding him. Uh, that was a good Hannah, thing. yeah, Hannah, you're kind of having to stare down. Your past self, your past Hannah is having a stare down with Tizzy. And uh, Violet, you're you're kind of surrounded by the obsidian darkness over there. Uh, your past self is surrounded by the obsidian darkness as you're trying to figure out what to do in that situation. Uh, Braga, you are kind of off to the side with Keela. As the four of you kind of stand and watch, like, well, we shouldn't not know if you should go in. I'm just going to say, before we take off, I look really good. Yeah. It's interesting seeing ourselves from, like, this perspective, like, like at an angle far away, very nicely lit. Like, all the insecurities I have about my body, that is so wrong. I Apparently, mean, yeah, I think we were all, like, thinner back then. A little like, bit. Less, yeah. like, messed up. Yeah. I mean, speak for yourself. You look pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, um, well, we no, in, uh, in a malnourished hey, way. Hey, like, remember I was like, hey, let's go look, meet our past selves, and then Corinna was like, if you do that, I'm going to punish you and bring you back here. So oh, like, come on. Tell me you don't want to have sex with yourself. Look how sexy, hey, sexy hey, you are. Hey, I mean, that's I, like, I, they I say that, like, if you were to meet yourself, you would want to. You would, Like, it's a survival instinct that you want to naturally sleep with yourself, because if you didn't find yourself attractive, you would want to kill yourself. I was with you for, like, a minute there, and, like, now I'm it, not. No, but it's yeah. true. It's true. I mean, I look, I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down, but we also, if we do that, we're not going to save all of our friends and loved ones that died. I'm so just pontificating. Not, That's all I'm saying. I'm pontificating. Yeah. In also, the moment. point of order, uh, I am a giant orc woman with an eye patch. We need to get me off the street true, before true, someone true. notices me. True, true, true. And in that moment, Braga. Oh, God. You see coming around the corner is Alan, your fellow teammate who dies later today. The thief of the the rogue of the peaches, as he turns the corner, Braga. Oh, what the fuck are you doing with the queens, Braga? Come on, get, land a hit on him. I'll, I'll I'll get Betty. As you see, uh, yep. Suddenly, Alan comes and lunch uh, lunges towards you, Betty, trying to hold you down. I just sidestep and stick my leg out the trip him. Roll me two d six plus skill. Yeah, you do. Ooh, maybe uh, not. Four, five, six. I will say, you uh, Betty, you have two tokens. <laughs> seven, uh, seven, um, seven, seven is a mixed success. I'll use one token. Thank you, tokens. Uh, Betty, while you do stick your foot out and <laughs> uh, Alan does trip over your foot, he was charging at you so hard that he ends up kind of pulling you down. Like, as he trips, his, put, his foot kind of gets you off your balance, Ugh. and you end up falling backwards two, four, two points of damage. Nice. Alan, you suck. <laughs> he's crawling on the ground. Oh, come on, Brag. Come on, Brag. Come on. You can get him. You can get him. You're a peach. Brag. Tizzy's going to. Yeah, the most Brag. Punch me. Uh, she already punched me earlier. I'm in face still. Hurts. Uh, yeah, uh, we submitted. Punched her so hard. Uh, uh, we submitted to a draw. Roll me 2d6 plus. I'll say heart. Okay. <laughs> How good is this performance? It's really good. <laughs> it's an eleven. <laughs> how do you? How are you? How is? How like? Give me this convincing, convincing performance. Do you add? Do you like pitch yourself? Before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, <laughs> I just start squeezing my my left cheek so hard, so hard that it that I I bruise it. Because I'm very strong. <laughs> and then I take it off and I'm like, <laughs> Do you inflict uh. damage on yourself? I was like, Yeah, you take one point of damage. <laughs> it was worth it for the author. Yeah. I'll say that. And I'm like, Yeah, I just hit her so hard in the face. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, fuck you, Rat Queens. Tizzy's gonna Tizzy's gonna destroy you guys. We're the we're the best. Oh my oh yeah, we're the best. Uh, I'm gonna just make you stop before. I actually have to kill you. I just, I'm just gonna say. Alan's coming up. No, oh, he's gonna. Uh, Braga, yeah, I wanna do it again. I wanna watch you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go after Hannah. Well, actually, I'm gonna save Hannah for Tizzy. You know, uh, they just wanna. Uh, Tizzy, uh, she's real. She's real fire. She's real mad today, and she definitely wants to take it out uh, on you. Braga, please kill him, or just not gonna help. Uh, this is ridiculous. I mean, wait. As Alan stands there, 
and turns around, takes a few steps. And I hit him in the head yeah. before. <laughs> yeah. uh, roll me 2d6 plus <laughs> <else's> gut. <laughs> oh, time travel. Uh, four, six, seven, eight. What's my token status? Hannah, you have two tokens. I'm going to make it a 10. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Wonderful. <laughs> Fuck Alan. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Who's died? named Alan? He's my friend and he died. I know. He's going to die a little earlier if he doesn't clean maybe up. The, maybe karma is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do anything how wrong. Do you, how, do you, how do you knock Alan out? Um, I, I, <laughs> I just take the back end of my quarter staff and just like <laughs> knock him like right underneath the, like, the gape of the head. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have just... You have just almost like pool cued. Him yeah, exactly, so well. exactly. You got him right in the soft spot between yeah the spine and the back of the skull. But I did. I nailed it so good that like he of course falls face forward, but he doesn't like oh like no one sees his body fall out. He falls right before like the edge of the yeah. Wall. He was gonna creep around the wall. You just you your your Hanna senses were tingling, they and were. that you were able to be like and you just popped him, and now Alan is face down, passed out on the ground. You also have Sawyer behind you, who's starting to start to come to a little bit. Great. So, I, just in fairness, I move Alan's face out so he can breathe. Like, because <laughs> he's like, you know, it's soft ground, and you don't want to, you know, yeah. asphyxiate. Thank you. You're Stop. welcome. Thank you. um, and with Sawyer, I think we should take him with us. Fine. Uh, is there a way that you can wipe his mind so he doesn't know that we were here? I wonder if... I wonder. He's... I wonder if we tell him what's going on. He might be able to help us. Mm. Oh, I... Oh, oh that's time. real risky. Real I don't early know. On. I, I know, but... I can't remember the rules of time travel right now. I think it, it's fine, but I don't think he's going to believe us because we're all kind of pieces of shit still in this time. This time. Yeah, but we're still fucking... So well, I mean, you can always erase his memory if he doesn't believe it and Ooh, freaks yeah, out. Yeah, do that one. Okay, let's take him. We okay, could, great. We could point to us and he might know that we're here. <laughs> but let's go. Let's take okay. him yeah, and go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Abduct him, please. You're going to take Sawyer? Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. I oh. tie my cloak around his head so he can't see. <laughs> yeah, we're just First. dragging somebody. It's fine. No one's going to notice. <laughs> it's very busy in this town square. Oh, yeah. Is there a horse around anywhere? Is there a horse? Yeah, like a donkey. You look for a horse. We throw it over you like he's look, a pack. You can look for a yeah, horse. Yeah, I'd like to get you know, situated. And see if there's <laughs> <a horse laughs> Roll me two Maybe look for more than one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if we can hide behind it. Christ. Canny? Yes. Seven. With a seven, uh, <laughs> yeah, you see you see a miniature pony. It Great. is not very strong, but it's a cute little miniature pony that's standing in front of this... Uh, this little stand that says like miniature pony rides and so it's, it's not strong enough to carry the weight of Sawyer. You might hurt this pony. I, yeah. I just pick him up and throw yeah. him over my shoulder. Right. Braga, I take the pony. I ride the pony though. That's what I was going to say. I was going to plop you on there. You I, steal this pony? Yes. Ride the pony. Does, pony's na- does the pony have a name tag or something? Do ponies have My a name little? Tag? Its name is Butterscotch. Oh. I totally know what this pony looks like. How cute. Guys, Butterscotch. I remember Butterscotch. He's, he was in the Flinch Pony rides back when we before Palisade got burned. Yeah, because this is not obvious. You just want riding a little pony. It's fine. I mean, it's adorable. We're, we'll just avoid ourselves. It's fine. Just don't. We'll not go in the town square. Okay. I get on the pony. Let's go. Gonna etch this in the memory bank. Real cute. A little cute smidgen on a small little horse. It's almost like it's a right size horse for you. Let's go to the outskirts of the town. Stop talking. Let's go. <laughs> As you start to move towards the outskirts, you hear in the distance. Uh, the Palisades guards starting to run into the town square. You can only assume from your memory you remember. You remember that the town guards came in, and so did Sawyer, as he did arrest you originally. Mm. But I guess you're taking him elsewhere now. We'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Should we try to mess up the us, tr- us getting arrested in the past? It might be good that we're not arrested. Who knows? Because then we wouldn't be sent on that death mission. Uh, that would change a lot of stuff if we don't do that. I mean, ab- I don't want my friends to die, but... Above you, you see... Uh, I'll say, Betty, you notice this first. There is a white owl that you kind of... You caught earlier as soon as you landed, but you just thought, like, oh, you were distracted suddenly by all the fights. But you see that this white owl is just kind of watching you. Hey guys, I think Corona's owl is watching us. It's definitely alive in this time period. All right, I, I just want to—I want to reiterate with everybody. I want to make sure we're all on the same page of what we're ultimately here to do, so that every decision we make feeds that objective. Agreed. All right. 
So remind me what Krona said. Krona said we have to find the um, skull guy and destroy it now when it gets put in town. Okay, we have to find the skull guy. Right. But then, like, I feel like we're already here, so we should probably try to, like, save some of the guys who get killed and then like a lot of bad stuff happens to us like in about a week I don't know if we can change that I don't think we can I I, say okay let's let's be clear I stop butterscotch I think (laughs) uh, you're you're good good boy butterscotch Uh, I I think we can be looking for the the chaosium but in the meantime she didn't say we couldn't do other stuff she just said we can't talk to ourselves and if uh, she wants to stop us she can Suddenly, as you say that, Violet, the owl comes down and uh, <laughs> sits on a branch very close to you as it looks at you all. I hold out my arm. Come here. Come here, owl. Come here. I will not come to you. <laughs> oh, you talk still? Before, did you talk before? I can't remember. Can no, you? it sounds like I a was, first. I was stuffed when you met me in my current form. You were alive now, and then you died. And then Are you a time-traveling you. owl? Yes. What's your name? My name is Minuto. Ooh. Yeah. Your name Minuto. is so fancy for yeah. an owl. Minuto, like minute. It's w- a time thing. Question. Oh. Question. Serious question. <laughs> Did your family name you that? Did Elra name you that? Did you name yourself that? Or is this like some passed down god name? I was created into being, and that was the name that was in my head. Were you always an owl, or were you like a human, and then you got cursed to be an owl, and then you turned into a stuffed owl later? I was always an owl. I have been partnered with Krona since the beginning, and I shall remain by her side until the end. Then why, then why if you're like... So, inter- truly, uh, we are on sort of a time crunch I know that's ironic. Uh, does anyone want to spend more minutes talking about the owl being stuffed, or should we get to business? I read mean, it really now. I have again. I need to get off the streets because they're going to recognize me. There's not a whole lot of this coming around, and I pretty must soon. I issue you a warning. Okay, Minuto. <laughs> if you change the past, oh. if you change anything, your future will be affected as well. Oh, so we should probably let Sawyer go right now. Well, <laughs> does that mean we have to let everyone else die? Like. Like Braga's teammates and the Obsidian well, Darkness and the brother ponies, pony guy people? The owl said that it will change the future. We don't know if it's for the best or the worst. Just change it. It's an issue, a warning. You just It's just more like, hey, this will happen. No one knows if it's for the good or the worst. Is that an accurate statement? I cannot see what will happen. All I can do is issue warnings. Oh, great. Well, I mean, well the word, that's a good point, the Hannah. The word warning... Implies that it's not the best thing. Like that was is up is up for in, in interpretation. It's I mean, all my only know point. that their fate is sealed regardless. If you try to stop something, it will still happen. Isn't that what we're here to do? Ooh, choose? maybe we should try to start something, like plant a tree now, and then see if it grows. You know, <gasps> we should do a little test. That is but then we'd have to go back to the fu- and then come uh, back I guess again. We wouldn't, okay, we wouldn't. Know okay, that. all right. Okay. The Thank you. The chaosium is different than people's lives to answer your question, <laughs> Braga. Okay. I know all of your names. Yeah. I mean, it's I just not be, really that big of a surprise. Minuto. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's Minuto, Minuto. Not Minuto. <laughs> what did I that, say? That is a soup. She, it's also a band. But she said, um, <sighs> I still don't know the difference. It's she hard, said Minuto. You did a T. You did a T. They did a T. Well, hard. let's 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 debate the name, though, right? Don't ask the okay. owl why it's stuffed, okay. but let's debate a okay. name. Okay, you really, like debating, really... it was just conversation. Is it? All right, okay. you see, you see Minuto start to clean himself, just clean himself. We got a fucking buggy. Okay, I just kind of like wing. Chuck Sawyer towards where the brawl is a little bit, <laughs> so when he wakes up, <sighs> because he's got to arrest us, because that's gonna happen, but and I we have, have sex. You're gonna have sex when we get back. In the right time, you're gonna have lots. No, but we're broken up. Well, you might not be if we fix it. Yeah, now. if he's not dead, it might be easier not to break up with him. Hmm. He's not dead. My dad's dead. Oh right. All right. All right. Everyone. Okay. Lots of people. Yes. Are dead. Uh, so go. onward. All onward. Right. Bye, Sawyer. We just toss. Him. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> roll Bye. Me. Soup. Roll me. Roll me two d six plus skill to see how well you're able to toss Sawyer I, back into I this fight. I help toss Sawyer also, even okay. though I'm small. Maybe I use the Betty. Yes, use Betty, roll your bond with Braga. Oh yeah. Uh, ooh, <laughs> oh, f. Um, 
That's a two plus two is a four. <laughs> I believe there is one reroll. I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> you're all, you're all, like auto well, like, oh, Sorry. Thank you for the reroll. Uh, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah. Okay. So there's so, a plus one. Okay. So skill plus one. Okay. Yes. Two d six plus skill. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. So that's that's an eight plus one plus. So that's gonna be a ten. Yay. How do you how do you throw how do you how do the two do you throw Sawyer mm. successfully back into the fight? How do you help me with it? That's what I yeah, want to know. Ooh. Um, I tie a little rope around like his shoulders. Like a tote bag, <laughs> just throw him like that with a handle. Yeah, I kind of like swing him and then like let go, so it's like a sling almost. <laughs> so get some tra- trajectory. Bye, Sawyer. You see Sawyer fly through the <laughs> air and actually land on a uh, human Dave. Human Dave's on the <laughs> ground and now has a Sawyer land on top of him. As this instant, uh, Sawyer wakes up and uh, <gasps> just kind of looks around for a sec, a little disoriented, and then uh, picks himself up and starts to arrest you and arrest all the groups that have caused this this rowdy, rowdy fight in the middle of Palisade. Uh, just really quick, I'd like to see if I can get a glimpse of where Dwarf Dave is and just see if he's still rocking that fugly muggle, mullet. Just like, just see if, like, if I can pick him out. Because I never really could pick him out of a crowd, but now yeah. I'm trying to see if he's uh, there. Roll me 2d6 plus... Because this is really important. Candy. <laughs> is it? Isn't it? <laughs> the worst timing to get a great roll is uh, 12. How do you locate okay. Dwarf Dave? So after Human Dave gets like basically impaled by... <laughs> just kind of like sacked by yeah, Sawyer. Yeah, sacked by Sawyer. Like I just imagine like boom, boom, like a bunch of mail. Uh, <laughs> Dwarf Dave goes over <laughs> to aid human Dave and is like super emotional about it because like a remi- reminder he is the only Dave that survived right? Uh no human no he is he's uh smidgen Dave is the only Dave that died human Dave oh, orc Dave orc right. Dave dwarf Dave survived great that's right yeah. uh so one of the Daves died I just, I just Dave like, does. I just want to get a feel for like if I can tell if he's gonna you know go like I don't know I just want to see if he's happy or not like I just want to see how he's doing. You see that he's like, he's he's kind of looking down at human Dave, and it's like, Dave! Dave, get up! Dave! And he's like kind of smacking his, his cheeks around, and he's he's pulling out some water, trying to, he's, as Sawyer gets off of human Dave, uh, you see dwarf Dave then kind of administering uh, some some water, trying to heal him, trying to get him God, back so up. That's so sweet. Calling over orc Dave, calling over smidgen Dave. You can see that Poor Dwarf Dave. He was such in his prime when the Daves were together. But you know That's that right. after after Narigoth descends upon Palisade, that is when the Daves break up. And that is when uh, Dave later joins you on your journey. It becomes despondent and yes. all that. And family leaves him. So, yeah, it, I kind of, like, look after him. Look out to him and go, God. You know, like, just reminisce, but, like, feel a little sad for his future. Yeah. That's all. Just wanted to check in there. I check out Human Dave's butt. <laughs> roll me, roll me 2d6 <laughs> plus, plus canny. Okay. Get it, girl. Oh, go. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's, a, that's a five. Um, uh, oh, my God. Yeah, I failed at checking out a dude. <laughs> well, it's because, yeah. Braga, you, you just want to check out this butt so badly, <laughs> you end up getting a little too close. Oh, no. As, uh... As human Dave kind of is climbing up, he turns around and sees you and kind of looks at you for a sec. Kind of, huh. <laughs> looks a little startled. Uh, uh, turns back into the fight and you see him staggering. Then you see him hold his head. He kind of looks off over to the left and you can't see who's to the left. But you start to feel him start to slowly turn around. I run. I run the other way. Run. Roll me 2d6 plus. Uh, I'm going to say, since this is a defy danger roll, I'm going to say, with quick thinking, this is canny. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Woo. Aha. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, well, that's an 11 minus 1. That makes it still a 10. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah. How do you how do you narrowly get out of Dave? I think I duck down clamps. like an alleyway so that I'm not like on the main street anymore. Like I'm out. I, I duck down out of view so that he can't see me. Yeah. You immediately like, I'm like all of a sudden. All of a sudden when his Dave is just kind of slowly turning around. He turns around and you're no longer there. And you just. He 
continues to, like to rub his head like in one spot, uh, clearly thinking he maybe hit his head hit his head too hard because he just saw two bragas, which is a <laughs> which is a cool thing, but it's also yeah. not a good thing. Ugh. So we cut back to our four queens and Butterscotch, the miniature pony. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd like to uh, lead the party to um, a place we might know would be deserted during the time of the town brawl. Maybe that would be, uh, oh, like the town, like the, is there a church in town? Is there a there temple? There is, there is a temple in town. <laughs> Let's go to the temple where no one definitely is because everyone's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Temple of All Light. Nice. As uh, you begin to make, you luckily you are on that, on that side of town anyways from the town square. You're kind of on that direct path. As the four of you begin to make your way to the Temple of All Light. Can I, can, sh- should we be rolling for stealth, perhaps? <laughs> I'll say yes. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> everybody roll me 2d6 How plus canny. You. Well, I, th- I was going to do it for myself. Gosh. I thought I could do it for everybody. <laughs> Betty's just looking out for you. I got you, Ben. Uh, five, six, seven. Oh, no. Ooh, I got a seven. Jeez. With what? Plus what? Canny. Five. So five, a seven, a seven, nine, a nine, six. Shut up. Let me write that down. <laughs> Do I have any tokens? Uh, Braga, you have three tokens. I'll spend one to make it a seven. And what about me? So Braga used a token. Thank you so much, token. Thank Hannah, you, tokens. tokens. Hannah, you have one token. I'm gonna. Eat. No, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there is. And there are no re rolls. It's okay. I guess this is okay. Chat help. <laughs> too late now. Chat doesn't like me. It's okay. Aw. Great. I, I don't care. Fuck you guys. Wow. Remember how I you like thought you, chat. Send me all your money. you looked at your past self. Oh, I look sexy, but there chat, you Just know. keep that. I'm fine with it. So, yes. Brett, Betty, Violet, and Braga, you are able to kind of stealthily somewhat make your way to to the, the Temple of All Light. You're able to kind of, you're kind of ducking him now. You kind of remember your way on this side of town. You all do not frequent the temple too often. Nope. Uh, so you're kind of, you're kind of remembering off of, oh, we've been here once yeah. before. You're going off of that base kind of uh, visual memory. Or Hannah, you just take a left when you should have taken a right and you find yourself at a dead end <laughs> separated from the queens. When suddenly... You hear a voice call out. I got one of them! And you look behind you and you see one of the Palisade City guards uh, as he begins to pull out handcuffs. Oh, I didn't know you were into kink. You must have heard something from Sawyer, right? He must have told you about how much sex we have. Did he tell you how weird he is in bed? Does he tell you that he likes to play the girl and I like to play the boy? Wait, there was one time where he wanted to dress up like a schoolgirl, and 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 then I had to play the bad, mean older teacher and and give him a bad grade and keep him after school and pretend that his parents weren't going to pick him up afterwards. And then there was this other time. What are you trying to do here? <laughs> Completely freak him out. <laughs> Roll me two d six plus guts. <laughs> Is he the only one? That's He's the only her? one. Okay. The, the, yeah, Betty. Violet and Braga, you are on an alleyway to the right where you start to hear. You don't get to see it, but you start to hear that this interaction is happening. <gasps> What'd you roll? Is there a re-roll? Plus what? Is there a re-roll? Uh, there are no re-rolls. <gasps> Plus what? Sneakers. Plus guts. Well, that's a four, and then <laughs> I guess I could add one to make it a five. I'm not going no. to. No, it wouldn't help. So I failed it. You just see him stand there. And then, <laughs> what? What? Do you want to know about, like... No, that's just... That's just real cool that Sawyer is comfortable <laughs> in his sexuality. And yeah. that he knows what he likes in a partner. <laughs> I have all the more respect for him now. Thanks, Hannah. I'm arresting you now. I'm gonna... I want to <laughs> sneak up... I'm gonna run back down, down the way we heard, and I want to sneak up behind him and hit him on the head with my axe. But, like, blunt in, not trying to kill him. See? Okay, I'm gonna have you roll two rolls to do yeah, this. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, roll me 2d6. I'm going to say it's skill, because I'm going to say you're going to use your, since this is a, a thought-out sneak. Okay. Because you're using your, you're using your battle master skill to kind of sneak up in there. Okay. That's the sneak. So that's going to be... Okay. That's good. That's a, that's going to be a 10. Wonderful. Because um, that's and actually 11. 
11. And then, okay, uh, so you were able to... Hannah, as as Trent, the palace guard... <laughs> Trent. 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 The palace guard uh, continues to talk to you. You see that over his shoulder. Like, how are you sneaking up? Um, like, kind of just doing, like, typical, like, slowly walking up behind him. Like, like, like cartoonish almost. Great. Like, and yeah. it's working. Yeah. Uh, as Trent is... Uh, Hannah Vazari. You know... I personally have always wanted to arrest you. Why? You have a kink too? You just like want to dominate me? And you no, really just have no control in your life, so you want to dominate a woman because uh, you just like feel inadequate. Is your penis really small? I don't know. It is, but I'm comfortable with my sexuality as well. Uh, yeah, I just want to know where you were at, like who, what what kind of psychosis I was dealing with. Forgive me for judging you based off of that. <laughs> Listen, I just. I take a lot of pride in what I do for Palisade, and uh. So you're feeling like this is gonna make your career then, or something? Nope. I'm just protecting the citizens of the city and stopping you from causing any more bad stuff. Because I'm the bad guy, right? Like, well, you did just throw a dude through a big glass wall like, in our big glass <laughs> window in the in the down hall. Because he didn't deserve it, right? Like, there's not an odds, that, there's not the potential that we were like doing something righteous. <laughs> All right, I hit him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, she got him distracted doing that. I, exactly. But what I'm doing is using the blunt end of my my axe instead of the the. I'm using the handle to knock him out. And in fairness, I see you creeping yeah, out, yeah. so I'm yeah. distracting him. Yeah. So you want to help, Braga? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I hope it's yeah. helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Roll me 2d6 plus your Braga bond. I can't use those anymore. <laughs> so you're using my great... It's fine. Don't take them. Oh, All you, right. you want to be mean about it again? Uh, yeah, what is that? Nine? I'm going to use it and make it a ten. So you're gonna, oh, great. So you get a plus two, Braga. Hey, all right. But don't and, help. And plus me. your Ragabond. Yeah, your plus two's oh. already making. You don't. You don't need to use your thing because you already rolled a nine, right? Oh, plus the Braga. Plus I don't need to use the token then. Got it. Cool. Okay, you don't need to use the token. Got it. Great. Thank you. I didn't yeah. know how that works because so I, I don't ever two? help you anybody. You get a plus two. <laughs> what am I using? Guts. <laughs> Guts. <laughs> All right. That's true. It is true. Darn it. Okay. Gutsy, gutsy. Okay, so I rolled a five, but I get my plus three from Guts and my plus two, so that's a ten. Good thing you helped. Hey, I failed on a checking out a butt roll earlier. I'm allowed to succeed on a hitting <laughs> guy over the head roll. It's my thing that I'm good at. Jeez. <laughs> uh, tell me how, just describe to me this this blunt force trauma. So I kind of like look at uh, at Hannah while she's doing the thing. And I kind of do like a kind of move. And then she starts talking. And then I just kind of like just do like a real quick, just like just like a real quick flap across the back of the head. Like, so like it like grazes him. Like not like enough to like give him like, like head trauma, just like enough to knock him out. Yeah. Like, and again, I want to apologize to you, Trent, for even thinking for a second that the size of your masculinity what? hood. Ah! As you just start to, as you, he kind of handed you stuff on the way and he kind of, put, he falls on his knees first and then he kind of slumps over and just kind of collapses on the ground. Yeah. You know, I was a little bit jerky there, huh? Yeah, it worked out. All right. It worked out. Let's go. Thank yeah. you for that. And then I like drag you towards the way we everybody else went. Thank you. So, I would never get caught dead in a temple. So we have, as the four of you make your way towards the Temple of All Light, you start to feel <laughs> damn it, a little chaos in the air. <laughs> Brought to us by our very, very kind D. Uh, no. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> That's hilarious. I bought her a reroll. That's hey, hilarious. Your silence remains silent. <laughs> no, I love it. Roll it. Thank you, Lisa. I love it. As the four so of you great. begin to make your way to the Temple of All Light, mm-hmm. Violet. <laughs> now, not so funny. You. You haven't you you wear your current you currently wear a very modified version of this armor. You have not been in this heavy armor in a long time. So you're kind of still getting used to the feel of it again, remembering what it felt like, remembering how you carry yourself as you accidentally fall and trip <laughs> right in front of the temple. Uh, you take three points of damage as you kind of clip your foot and you kind of like pulled your ankle a bit. You have not twisted it entirely, but you have Hold it. Bill for bucket. Are you okay? Ooh. As your Here. armor has just made a loud noise. Oh. I'm going to scoop her up and carry her so we can move faster. Roll me 2d6 plus guts. Thank you for the chaos. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's a 5 plus 3, so that's an 8. Oh, I read that incorrectly. It was just a tip towards the chaos. <laughs> God, well, we got one. It. Good. That's fine. Good. We got a free one tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you roll? I rolled an eight total. An eight total. So yes, 
you, Braga, you are, are able to pick up Violet, but not before the doors to the temple open. And you see this, this elderly smidgen woman standing there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, we brought your daughter to you. <laughs> Just what the fuck? Because <laughs> we're both smidges doesn't mean we're all related, boy. I was gonna say me, and then I panicked. Hi, Auntie. Auntie. Mm-hmm. Auntie. When we say daughter from our from our town in our part of the in our part of the world, uh, she knows who we nope, are. nope. Uh, I use my. Uh, Ability to uh, deduce information by looking around Sherlock Holmes style to see if I can figure out anything about her that I can say to her to make her believe that I'm a long lost niece. Roll me 2d6 <laughs> plus, uh, I'm gonna say canny. Okay. Jeez. Please. Let's see. Oh, Four, oh. Five, six, seven, oh. eight, nine. You are able to, with, with a nine, you are only able to see one thing. And you see that uh, on you see that on her wrist she wears this kind of copper bangle that has uh, three flowers on it, two pink and one white in the middle that has like a little red ruby in the middle of it. And you recommend you recognize that as one of the kind of like accessories that worshippers of Lady Love wear. Um, Auntie, don't you remember um, that bracelet? Uh, my mom has a matching one because you guys both uh, worship Lady Love, and um, you know my my real name's Petunia, so um, I mean, never calls me Betty. I don't even you don't remember me? I mean, there's so many of us. It's okay if you don't remember us. I have like 20 brothers and sisters, but that's when I left home, so there's probably more of us now. But anyway, you're my auntie, and we require asylum. Well, our friend's very dumb, and she just needs to sit down for a bit. I fell. She fell because she's dumb. Do you have any herbs for As- healing? All right, stop asking Asylum. me questions. Asylum. Auntie, is it okay we come in for a little bit and just rest our feet? Asylum. And butterscotch. <gasps> There's a horse, a small horse. Did you bring the horse with you? It's like yeah, in the doorway, she's, she's not inside. Riding it. It's in the doorway. I'm going to say because you rolled a mixed success back there, in order to sneak successfully, you had to abandon butterscotch. Okay, oh, so fine. sorry. That's fine. I put, I, 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 I Why was it right? I let Butterscotch go free the fields. <laughs> I mean, you you're still done. in the city, so Butterscotch is now roaming <laughs> past the city. I'll find you. I'll find you. Butter, I'll find you, Butterscotch. Uh, all, all, are, all are welcome to the Temple of Light. So we didn't need to do the whole thing. But, uh, yes, my one of my nieces. Oh, nobody comes to visit. Um, come on in. Come on in, I'll fetch you some tea. Yay. Yeah, I kind of like set you. Violet down comfortably on like a, like a bench or a pew or whatever they have mm-hmm. inside this particular temple. Hey, old lady, you got some mead? Yeah, stop it. I'm sorry, but all the wine is saved only for, well, um... Sacred purposes. Exactly. And our trip is a crusade. It's a sacred one. And we would like to partake with you and commune with your lady of love. Actually, do you have any holy vestments that I could change into? I, I don't have. I need like just like a robe or a cloak or anything. Yes, we have a converti. A converti. That's what and we I call like, it. I like, like, <laughs> we yeah. call it a converti. <laughs> yeah. Here, roll me two d six plus hard. Okay. <laughs> Oh! Oh Did it no. just knock it I out? I knocked my six into a three, uh, <laughs> but that makes that makes it a seven. Seven. Yes, you only have two tokens. Okay, then I have to go with the seven. Yeah. Okay. Man, at least I had a six and I rolled another three, and the three hit the six and knocked it into a three. Oh my goodness! It would have been a ten. Uh, Convert, you say? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> it's official term. Cam, cam. As you are let in, I will be right back. <laughs> and she walks over and you see her leave the room. Guys, the reason we're in here is to get away from that crowd, but um, can, can anyone remember the timing of how long it took us to get arrested and so we can go back out there? Well, I was in jail for oh, a couple days. A while, right? Yeah. But I we just... can't be wandering the city as, as us if we're supposed to be in jail. Exactly. Oh. If we get arrested again by accident, that's going to cause a problem. That's why I'm asking for a disguise. Well, you I mean... have your magic cloak, but not all of us do. 
It does sound like at least at the very at the very least very early late night, you know, depending on how you look at it, like traversing only just to be safe and cause God, God's forbid we run into somebody. So That's right. Costumes and wait till nightfall. Yes. Then we look for this skull thing. Yeah. You see Rosie come back uh carrying uh a light pink garment. I don't know if we have your size, but um, you can try it on. <laughs> there she is. I just. Do you have like a scarf or anything? I like, could just put it on a disguise, okay. a disguise, a disguise. I try to put it on. This tunic is like. It was probably like a robe. It's fitting like a nice crop jacket on okay. you. So now you're in this light pink crop jacket. Okay. So it's, it's a little covering the peaches outfit, but it's not a complete disguise. It's not like a hood or anything. No. Okay. I mean, honestly, you look great. Well, thank you. It's a really nice accent piece. You still look like who you look like. But yeah, well, I appreciate the compliment. I just but wish you could take it back with you in the future, you know. I mean, I can probably come back here once we... Not a bad idea. Now, are you here for the... The evening, the afternoon service. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jesus. You're a little early. Yes, we. Uh, did, could, your niece wanted to see you. I see. Yeah, definitely. That is what's happening. Mm-hmm. Hey, Auntie, you don't you don't happen to know or have heard of anything in town about um anybody worshiping a new god called um. Aries? Called Aries, have you? Aries? Or anything about, like, crystal skulls? Like the grade? Mm-hmm. Chaos? Chaos. Like, not, not as good of stuff as what's happening here. Yeah. Let me go get the books. Ooh, books. You know, Could you um, see her exit? I don't want to... I really... I really you're going you're gonna to question my methods? You're going to question my, my, my motive? But my dad could actually help. My isn't dad. your dad in the mage collar? The, isn't he like... Yeah, he's not here yet. That's right. Never mind. I could. I can't channel him. Never mind. I mean, we She's could go... kind of losing the thread of... That's fair. Going. And it's honestly, fine. it was a a, not on. a bad idea. Uh, it would have been a great idea if he'd been here. Yeah. You can send a message. Would that be weird? No, we won't reach him in time. I what? could call my mother, but she would be... The only, and she's, you know, non-linear in time, so it would be fine. But we should wait to see what this crazy lady knows. Can yes. I do a perception check real quick before she gets back? You want to get situated? I mean, situated? get situated? Uh, roll me 2d6 plus canny. All right. Uh, that's a nine. You get to ask one question of the space uh-huh. from that list. What's going on here that isn't obvious to me? You notice, uh, Violet, only you do, you notice that there is a, a, a young boy with white hair kind of sitting in a back pew towards the corner that you have not noticed that was also in the space with you. Guys. What? Is your ankle hurting you? Yep. Come closer to me. I have the book. As she comes, as Rosie comes back. We're not alone. We know that. She's right there. Petunia, no. please tell me about um my sister. <sighs> What has she been up to? I know it was her birthday a little while back. Well, uh, yeah, you know how you know how mom doesn't like her birthday, so she doesn't like to talk about it. Uh, so you know we had we had a nice meal, but we really didn't do anything big, like as usual. And and yeah, she's she's doing great. She's popping out kids. Uh, she loves she loves worshiping Lady Love by having more children. And you know, I had I moved away kind of a little while ago because it was just too much for me. But um, yeah, I think she's doing great. Roll me two d six plus heart. Man, oh no! Those are all good lies. Oh. I mean, they're real. <laughs> rerolls, rerolls. <laughs> there are two rerolls. Oh, yes, yes, please reroll. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh they're bold, gosh. bold lies. It's like, oh my god, not much better. Five, that's a six. I have a token, so I can make it a seven. I would. Good. It's a, you're going to okay. get yeah. an extra anyway. have a token. Yeah. All right. I use that token. It's a Wonderful. seven. Yes. Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> Are you tired? No, I brought I brought you that book you were wondering about. You. 
here it is. As she places a very old, dusty tome. And you see her kind of wrinkled smidgen hand put her... Before you can... Before Hannah, you start to try and open it. You see her wrinkled smidgen hand on top of it. Why have you come to the temple of... Of all light to talk about the old gods? Mm. Field research. Heathens, perhaps. Field research. We the opposite. Field research. We are um, acolytes. Acolytes. And uh, we were asked to come af- uh, through the lands. She suddenly, you suddenly, Hannah, you feel your arm being grabbed as this tiny smidgen woman holds your hand and you see her kind of mumble something under her breath. And suddenly... Don't talk shit about me. I'm right in front of you, bitch. The mark of Aries that you haven't noticed suddenly appears on your hand. What are you doing to me? What the shit did you ah! do? <sighs> what kind of bullshit is that? What did you just do to my hand? You have been mocked. By you? Oh, by You have been... Get out. You see her no, start to, no, to no, start no, go no, backwards. Um, I'm going to go... Oh, there. Where's the bell? Where's the bell? Uh, I, I run up to her and put a sleeping mushroom. I try to throw a sleeping mushroom in her mouth. <laughs> Roll me 2d6 plus skill. Please. <laughs> it just uh, Jesus Christ. turned her five into a one. <laughs> That's an eight. Eight. Aren't dice eight. aiming? Is really screwing us tonight? You guys are rolling like me. With an eight. Uh... Betty, you do you are able to kind of arc the sleeping mushroom pretty well, but unfortunately, you took some time kind of getting it out of your pouch, and she had already kind of made her way to the rope where the temple's bells are oh, and has pulled no. on the bell. So suddenly you hear this da dong <sighs> like echo throughout the chamber as uh, she kind of the sleeping mushroom hits Rosie. And she's oh, oh well. She I mean, collapses onto the ground. Also, he's here. Huh? <laughs> he's we all here. Look to where she's pointing. <laughs> and you see this little boy with like white hair, kind of stand up, and just walks over to you. And you see he's dressed in a white shroud. I didn't think you could do this on your own, so I am here to watch you. Are you Kronos? Are you Menudo? I am. Uh-oh. In the form of a wee boy child. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's not obvious at all. Wait, are you going to help us, you said? Yes. Apparently, all you can do is knock people out right now. <laughs> so I'm come to give you some guidance. Well, this is not necessarily a smart thing to throw non-time travelers into the, the past and, and solve a problem that, that we had nothing to do with in the first place. Well, if you know how to do this, maybe we, you should just send us back and you, you take care You did send us back in the middle of a street fight that we were in. Like, not really, fair. really like, smart. You're not just showing, throwing shit. What does the bell mean? Are people going to come? Do we need to move? You probably need to move. And I have been tasked to give you where to go. Where? Let's do it. Why didn't we lead with this? I thought you could figure it out on your own. All right, all right. Let's okay, do okay. dally. Let's go. Why? You must go to Mulch Hill. What? Mulch Hill? Mulch Hill. Mulch Hill. That is where you will find someone. A leader of sorts who will hold a token that will let you know where you need to go next. I cannot offer more except for just minor help and tidbits of information. For you are the rat queens and you must fulfill this task all okay. your own. All right, all oh, right. That's Mulch convenient, Minister. Okay, uh, all right. What is this? Oh, Hannah, right now you're pointing to a blank hand. There was some shit on my hand. There was... There was that, she marked me. He walks over and he touches your wrist for a sec. Oh! Ah, what? Kind of recoils almost as if you see his little his little hands, his little fingertips have been almost like singed. Ah. Oh. Oh. What? That's the mark of Arius. What? Oh. So she was a, a follower of Arius? No, I think you well, have. You a- did not receive that mark from her. She only revealed it. Well, how did she reveal it? Well, she is a cleric. She has clerical powers. If she channels them correctly, she could see. Oh, if you had been touched by another form of god. Oh. Well, what does this mean, then? 
I actually do not know. Perhaps I can ask my mistress. I guess you're gonna have to. Yes. How do we get to Mott Hill? We should probably leave this uh, yes. church, huh? Yes, uh, exit through those back doors and continue northeast. That is where you will find... The Mulch, Mulch Hill. Hill. <laughs> Can right I? on the on the, north the northwest side of town. Mm. Can I walk? Yes, you got a little bit of a limp, though. Okay, I I'm going to grab the book. I'm going to grab the book. You want right. to grab the book? Is yes. there a, a healing spring in this <laughs> <laughs> temple? Like a, a holy bin of water or something? That we could like dip our ankle in? <laughs> I don't know. It's worth a shot. You see that in the center, like kind of towards... You were kind of in the, almost in the middle towards the... Down down the center, kind of towards the precipice of this, of this sacred uh, temple. You do see like a basin filled with what you can imagine is a sacred water. Hmm. I think it's your best shot. Oh, I'm sticking it in there. I'm sticking it in. <laughs> roll me, roll me two d six. Diff. I'm gonna say roll me two d six plus heart. I'm sticking it in. Ooh. Ooh! All right, that is an eleven. Eleven. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you you are you just believe that this water is gonna help you. You just believe it with all of your heart, and. Uh, Yes, this water is so, so good that it does heal you back for six points. Whoa. So you get fully back up to 20 points of health. However, uh, as you did just kind of shove your foot with its armor <laughs> in this water, you start to see that some of the dirt off your feet has now is now like just sitting in this holy huh? water. Oh, well. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, right. I mean, well, <laughs> it's already like... Like tapestries or like 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 shawl like like like, 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 <laughs> like cloths. cloths like tablecloths like like on like shrouds. Altar, on shrouds on altars or anything. Roll me two d six plus scanny. You gotta oh. you gotta get situated for that. I Raga. love how much you need this disguise. <laughs> I'm a giant orc woman. What do you want me to do? Be proud. All right, so that's gonna be an eight minus. You said plus scanny. Uh, it's gonna be a seven. <laughs> With a seven. Uh, <laughs> I will say. Um, also, I don't know that I had the mark yet, right? No, you she did not. saw, but I didn't. Okay, I want to make sure. I didn't want to meta game, so yeah, I'm making sure. You okay. don't know if you have the mark. <laughs> as um, the only thing that you see is the shawl wrapped around Rosie's passed out body. Uh uh. That's not gonna fit on me. She's a smidgen. All right, but it's a shawl. It's a shawl. She's little, and I have a big head. I'm my head's bigger than her. You cover your head. My okay. arm is smaller than bigger than her head. What do you want me to do? It's fine. It's fine. I, I take my cape off and I fashion into it a little turban on top of Raga's head. Here you go. <sighs> Thank you. See, are you like, is it like a... I don't know. I, I, th I think I, I think it's probably like, how did you do it? Because you're the one who made it happen. I kind of wrapped it like around and then like around the horizontally as well. So around vertically and horizontally. <laughs> kind of like Maid Marian era, yeah, like yeah. where it's covering the neck. and Like a renaissance yeah. situation. Renaissance. Okay. Yeah, I'll you take that. You have this renaissance, yeah, now. You, your eye patch is still visible, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but now you just, you're, you now have this this enchanted shroud over your head, a tight little pink crop jacket. <laughs> I won't say that over at all. Your, over your peaches uniform. Yeah. Oh, I wanna, can I try to find something to write with and draw an eye on top of her eye patch? <laughs> I was like, you're able to just find, yeah, you're able to do that. I climb that. up on Braga, I'm like, hold still, hold still, and they draw a perfect Braga eye. On the, Thank you. The, on the eye patch. So there's just, yeah, there's just a little eye. An eye. On. You just drew <laughs> an eye. An eye on If there's not patch. fan art of this ridiculous get up by the end of the show. From far away, it looks like she's just winking at you or something. All right. Go. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Is, you must hurry. I hear the people right. coming. Uh, we go out the back door. I will be watching you. Okay, yeah, we get it. You're got now. It. Got it. Yeah, all, all right. Seeing. Cool. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. As the four of you make your way towards kind of you, as you as you go to the northwest part of town, you're leaving the more kind of central hub of Palisade, getting into the more uh, suburban area. As the houses begin to not be so clumped together, they start to kind of break off, break off, break off, until you reach the edge of the wall on the northwest side, uh, knowing that, as you see from a distance, a mulch hill is right over there. On the other side of the wall? Yes, and you were able to go through the gates. Oh, okay. As you see mulch hill in front of you. We head up the, we head up the hill, right? Yeah. I guess so. Wait, uh, should we look in that book that, that you took, Violet? All right. Uh, can I... Uh... Maybe we should go get there and look at the book. Is okay. that what we're saying? I mean, I feel 
think we should like take a second look at the book because it's really important. Can we make sure there's no one around? Yeah. Does anyone have any special skills to look through this book in a quick and? Uh, I can. Uh, I can probably. I mean, I did talk to Arius, so maybe something will jump out that we that I remember from talking to him. That's great. What's that roll? <laughs> roll me two d six <laughs> plus Canny. Canny. And while they're observing I'm the reading. book, can I keep watch, keep lookout in case someone's gonna come by? Maybe. <laughs> Oh, oh. Geez, that that's okay. good. That's good. Yeah, that's better to have it out of the thing. Okay. Okay, so that's six minus one. That makes it a five. And there then is one re-roll. Yeah, re-roll. take yeah. it. Wonderful. Thank you for the re-roll. That's worse. No! That's going to be a two. <laughs> Braga, this book just... Uh, you all realize that the book has a lock on it and you can't open it. Okay. Okay. This book has a I, lock. I like hand a lock diary. book to Betty. Well, don't have my thieves tool still, so that's the whole thing we gotta do later. I just put it in my bag. Yeah, mental note. Let's get you the thieves tool while we're in, ta- yeah, in this a town. Yeah, that's missing for as a you really put long it, time. As you put it in your bag, you suddenly hear these screams, these cries in pain of, that sound like they're coming from uh, a group of men, these kind of manly yelps in pain uh, from over the top of Mulch Hill. It, it, could be, it could be an orgy. We don't want to walk in on that. I, I want to run towards it. I want to run towards <laughs> of it. Okay. Just Violet, the as you run towards it, as you crest over the top of Mulch Hill, you stand there and you see a horrifying sight in front of you. You see the brothers' ponies being slaughtered <gasps> by two of the assassins. Two of the similar assassins that came after you on your own quest as well. As you see the blonde brother's pony, uh, one of like him and the, the pink brother pony, the only two brother's ponies left standing. Uh, the blonde one is missing now an arm. The pink one has a ni- nasty like slash in his back as they're just trying to, def- trying to push back one of the assassins as you see another one start to charge towards them. We should try to save them if we can. We can't. I'm not gonna stand here and watch. I can't either. These, these people killed our friends. They 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 killed. We got. We have to do something. Come on, Hannah. When's the last time you want to crush a pair of assholes? Let's do this. I mean, crushing assholes. All right. Are... This. Is, okay, all right. <laughs> I just want to take my axe and throw it. Roll me two d six plus skill, Violet. Um, seven, eight, nine. I drive a token. Uh, Violet, you have three tokens. All right, I'll use a token. Wonderful. With a token, uh, describe to me the successful throw. Um, I, um, I take I th- take my accent back, and then I perfectly aim at one of uh, one of the attacker's arms, and I just knock it. Which one? The one that is the one that is headed towards. Uh, the one that is then going to be charging the blonde and the p- yellow and the pink brothers pony, or is it the one that they're tri- currently trying, they're currently kind of uh, bracing against? Um, the one that is charging. Wonderful. And where does the la- where it in the me? arm? In the arm. So it just it just uh, it it hits the arm, and then they fall back, and then it just hits in the ground. Wonderful. So yes, you suddenly see Violet's axe flying through the air as this assassin is caught completely off guard. Suddenly by, uh, he's hit in the hand by the axe and then it's thrown him back and the axe now pins him to the ground. As the two brothers ponies kind of look back in surprise of where that attack came from when unfortunately the assassin that was keeping them at bay takes a sword and stabs the blonde brothers pony right in the stomach as he begins to slump on the ground. The pink brothers pony, the only pony remaining. I run up to that one that just stabbed the guy, and I just right, right into him with the axe. Oh, so you're just gonna get right in there? Yeah. Roll me two d six plus cuts. I'm cleverly disguised, so no one knows that. <laughs> I'm me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be a thirteen, which also Yay! means that I get to use my my move of like destroying. So I can destroy his weapon. He gets to lose his knife that he has. Yes. So. So describe to me how this happens. Uh, I think what I do, because he stabbed the guy, so I think I walk up and I just cut his arm off with my axe. I must say this is an assassin that gave... This is a master assassin. Okay. This assassin is very, very good. I would say that you... I wrote a 13. <laughs> I know, 
Bruin, you're also going to take out his, okay. his weapon. Yeah, well, that's, what, that's how well, I was, so that, you, that was how you, I was flavoring you, the weapon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's how you're flavoring the weapon. Yeah, like cutting. Like if he, if he has his arm out, gotcha. I was going to hit that arm with my axe. Great. I will say you do that. Yeah, to get that yeah. weapon out of there. So suddenly, you see this assassin's arm just put onto the ground, holding the knife, and the the pink brother pony looks at you all. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, and then I'd like to wipe his memory right here. You just want to wipe his memory. I want to wipe the memory of us. Because the timeline's not going to match up of us going into jail. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. Damn, Hannah, get it. That's going to be a nine. Oh. I'm going to use that token. Wonderful. And I'm going to make it a ten. Describe to me how you wipe his mind. Listen, if you guys were more talented, more of you would be alive. And I... <laughs> snap and uh, clear his memory just of the of us as you see the final the, the last standing pink brother pony kind of suddenly his eyes roll in the back of his head as his form slumps on the ground on top of the bodies of his <sighs> fallen brethren Oof. what if you tell him to run away from palisade and never return well, oh, well. and that way he that way the timeline has screwed up because he won't come back and we won't know we won't just have a random extra person running around the town uh, I, it, I mean, we should have assessed that before we decided to save them, and now we saved them. We couldn't not. Uh, it, we could. Could. Suddenly, could have, the could. assassin that you pinned down, Violet, has now picked the axe off of his, has ripped the axe off of his, of his cleaved, his kind of cut arm, and is now uh, stealthily charging towards the Pink Brother Pony. Uh, I want to turn and just, I just like roll my eyes, grab my dagger, and just throw it square between his eyes. If I can. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. Uh, five, six. Any tokens or rerolls? There are three rerolls. Yeah, Is it. there three rerolls? Yay. Thank you, rerolls. Thank oh, you, rerolls. Thank you, rerolls. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Please. Yes. Okay, that's 11, 12. <laughs> so describe to me. You just throw and it hits him. I just go, not today, cowboy. And I lean back and just throw one of my smaller daggers in between his eyes. And he gets knocked down and instantly dies, question mark. (laughs) (laughs) And he's holding a chaosium and we got it. Got it. (laughs) As you throw this dagger into uh, the the minor assassin, uh, you find he kind of is knocked back by it as you start to see him slowly pull this dagger out of his head. He is slightly disoriented, though. As, because uh, the dagger was poison? Because <laughs> he got a dagger in the <laughs> <laughs> I put a mushroom on the tip of it, and then I threw... <laughs> okay, that's fair. As, you, as unbeknownst to any of you, the other assassin has taken out a sword. And all of a sudden, from behind you, you hear, shunk! And you see the final pink brother pony, <gasps> now with the sword pierced through his heart mm. on the ground as the master assassin now with a bleeding arm that he has pinned to his side stands up withdraws the sword I thought one of my brothers was supposed to get you but I guess he sees you have bested him yeah we're like that the contract will still be fulfilled as this master assassin charges at you Hannah oh this is getting boring um (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I uh, turn around my quarter staff and uh, just launch it into his eye. Roll me two d six plus skill. Actually, two d six plus guts. Okay. Guts, 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 Good rolls, good rolls. Four, seven, eight, nine. How many tokens do I have? Zero. You have one token. Use it to make a ten. Wonderful. What do you do, what do, you do with a ten? Um, I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. Your brother, yeah, yeah. He's a horrible fighter, like you. And uh, I turn around, I like kick up the staff, <laughs> <laughs> and as it's like going upwards, I grab it and go <laughs> into his eye. You stab it right in his eye, and you kind of pull it out. As now you see this red blood, now kind of starting to this patch of red blood. Growing and growing and growing underneath the black face shroud of this assassin. As you hear his breath becoming more and more labored. As you suddenly hear the labored breath of the other assassin behind you. As the two kind of now want circle you and kind of pin you in the center of this hill. (sighs) 
both not looking so good, both have suffered wounds, pretty dire wounds. Very surprised that you were able to take them on so successfully as the younger one, ah, as he takes oh, out two throwing knives and throws them at Violet and throws them at Betty. You have, we both have two knives coming towards you. What do you do? Um, I want to try to jump in the air and grab the dagger coming towards me and throw it back at him. <laughs> 2d6 plus canny. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to roll really good. I believe good. in you. I believe. Uh, four, five, six. Any re-rolls or tokens? There are two re-rolls. Betty, you have one token. It's only a six. I could get a seven. I could make success. Or use the re-roll. What? I, I believe in you. You can either have a seven or she can re-roll. I re-roll. All she right, do it. Do Go it. for it. You want to survive? Come on! So that's a six, seven, eight. There you go. Wonderful. With, and you used a re-roll. Mm-hmm. Thank you, re-rolls. There's one Thank re-roll you. left. With an eight. I will say uh, you get to make a tough, we're going to make a tough decision. You can either dodge the dagger or, so you can either jump out of the way of the dagger or you can have the dagger in you. The dagger will pierce you, but then you can then use it on your next turn. Take it. Take the damage. Great. Uh, <laughs> Betty, you just stand there as this dagger kind of pierces into your left rib for four points of damage. And you start to start to bleed kind of into your classic white tunic because you start to see this like little pool of blood. And suddenly you see like Betty just kind of pull out the dagger and just wield it back at this uh, assassin. Why wouldn't you move? We're the fucking rat queens, and we already did this once before. Oh, I get it. You're trying to psych them out. Yeah, they should be dead by now. Do it. Braga, I mean, sorry, Violet, you had a knife coming towards you. Yeah. What do you want to do? Similar, similar instinct as Betty. <laughs> I'm going to take my sword out, and then I want to I want to knock it, but I... The, uh, so there's two, right? There's, there's two. one coming towards you. There's but, one coming towards her, and there's one coming towards okay. you. Two assassins. Yeah, but there's two, two assassins. assassins. Okay, yeah. so the one coming towards me, th- uh, that he threw it, mm-hmm. I want to knock it towards the other one. <laughs> so I basically... I want to get the one that's that's about to hit Betty in the face. Great. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Chaos. <laughs> Um, that is a 12. Oh, yes. <laughs> so with a 12, yes, Violet, you do exactly that. You're able to describe to me how do you just... All right. So I, I pull it out and then I, I, I wait on it because I'm faster than it is. I wait on it for one, two, three, and then I, I knock it and then it spins and then it... it it hits the other assassin. Yes. Does it hit the other assassin in his in his good eye or his eye that has already been damaged by Hannah's staff? Oh, his good eye. Great. Now no good eyes. Great, yes. Uh, all of a sudden, this masterful just pink by uh, Violet sends this other dagger just boom, 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 boom. As the master assassin kind of goes, what the? It's uh, this other knife goes right into his <laughs> left eye that was good. And you're, ah! Ah! As you see him kind of pull it out of his eye and he's staggering on his last legs, just kind of still coming towards you. The other, the other, the junior assassin is kind of, ooh, uh uh-oh. And he just lunges, kind of grappling towards you, Braga. What do you want to do? Uh, I just want to like do like, I have my ax like this. I'm just going to swing it up at him as it comes into me. Oh, my 2d6 was guts. Oh, you mean his guts? (laughs) (laughs) We do reach 500. I have a very, very fun GM move in mind. We're only $100 away okay, from that. So that's so. going to be a nine. Oh. Do I have any tokens? Braga, you have three tokens. I'm going to use one to make a nice 10. Hell yeah, I'm going to 10 this one up. You want this GM move, ladies and jelly beans. You do. <laughs> uh, with a 10. So, Braga, describe to me this how you how you guts his guts. Um, I think exactly like I said. He, he's running at me. And so, like, I'm, like, using his momentum against him. So, as he runs, I just swing my axe upwards. He basically runs into my axe. And it, like... It like moves with him and like just cuts him like right up and just like gets him right in the. Yes, yeah, so this last this assassin's kind of last last move. It's kind of uh, I'll just grapple him. Let's just grapple him as yeah runs towards you and suddenly is just sliced royally. Yeah. Just all of a sudden yeah, and you see kind of his form stop and just kind of 
stagger backwards and then kind of fall onto the ground, trying to hold his wound together as and the I master guess. assassin kind of... <sighs> Who the hell are you? I, I literally just yelled, hey, we're the fucking rat queens, like, earlier. So yeah, I mean, did she, does she want to just die already? Yeah, didn't you just say that your other, your brother was trying to come kill us somewhere else? Or, I mean, I feel like you knew who we were. I will get the job done! Oh. I mean, good, um, I mean, good luck, I Yeah, you're guess. doing good, really good. good. good hustle. Ah, it's the like final, as the master it. assassin on his last legs charges towards you, Hannah. What do you want to do? Um... Uh, do you re- oh god okay um so we're gonna take the the front end of my staff now and do the he's charging me he's take take that side step as he's running like obviously really poorly and um do him a favor and euthanize him by like batting the back of his head like trying like basically dislodging him from the sn- the spine you know just Roll me 2d6 plus skill. I mean, for his own sake. I think it's at this point, it's just kind mercy. mercy. Yeah. You know, we mercy the pink po- pony brother. Plus skill? Mm-hmm. Six? What was the... Wh- what's my status with the tokens? You have four. Yeah! yeah! You know what? Well, is it better to use it or do the re-roll? He's tokens, I think. Tokens. Okay. Yeah, just going to euthanize that guy with tokens. So I'm going to use all four tokens, make it a ten. Yes. Gosh darn it. All right. <laughs> take it, take it, take it. With a 10. So describe to me just the precision moment. Uh, so what's his final, what does he say? He's like, I will get the job done. The contract will be fulfilled as he just kind of runs, just kind of charging at you, going to crawl McGraw you onto the ground. So I've, I, my, yeah, I had the the thing in my hand, right? And I just flip it around. I'm like, I, I, listen, you're making this... Anyway, and I, like as he runs, I take a, a, a giant step to the right. He falls past. And as he goes, I just like one arm like side up like the back of his head. And you hear like a... <laughs> that is the sign of his spinal oh. cord removing from the base of the of the brain. And, 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 and in that moment... He goes, oh, rat queens, and dies. Does his he, final, does he? his final thought I will, is. I will say that <laughs> as he as he perishes, he as you as he perishes, and you kind of just before like on his kind of final breath, as he's like oh, on the ground, he just goes, fuck the rat queens. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Fuck the rat queens. As the master assassin and the junior assassin now lay on the ground you all start to just kind of feel like you remember you remember this time hannah actually you start to feel a horrible pain in your arm as you remember during this time this was when your arm was snapped in half oh my god we are in the middle right now we we must be is this possible that it's not timing wise this is not when i broke my arm maybe it is i don't know it's not because we got in the fight. We we're in jail right now. No, you had all been so. assigned your missions, and then you were sent out. Hannah, you have not been arrested your second time yet. I see. So, well, right now at least we know we're kicking those other assassins' asses. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just don't have a really good feeling about this at all. Like, we're we've been out over our heads this entire time. But we did it before. We could do it again. But why am I feeling ghost pain from something somebody else is feeling? I don't know how time travel works. None right. of us do. Right. So why are we so... St- We're here because it's the only way to save Palisade. You saw what it looked like before we went back. I don't know. At what point are we just trying to defy what fate is? Like, those... The We couldn't do anything to save the ponies. We can't stop everything that's moving in motion. So what thought to begin with is uh, what, what what hubris do we have in order to think that we're going to be able to change this? This is not like you, Hannah. I feel like every time we fail to do a mission, which happens kind of a lot, we just kind of roll with it. I mean, these guys are... These assassins were supposed to be alive after We just this. wasted energy trying to save people that are going to die anyway. 
But we killed these assassins, so they're not going to hurt anybody else. We did and, something. And maybe we hurt something by doing that. In the moment, you see something wrong, you you do something. And uh, we're not made to understand space and time. We're not. So I know the little owl boy and the chicken noodle soup person is... <laughs> I, I understand what they're saying, but I don't feel it. And look, they these assassins murdered friends of mine. Murdered them in cold blood. They tried to kill you and you guys survived. I lost people that day and it's hard for me to not just take them all down right now. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have done it. I'm just saying at what point is this purposeful? At what point can we actually stop the things that are in motion? Well, she it all sent seems us so to futile. this hill. Yeah, what the, what the shit does she know? Oh wait, were we supposed to look for a token or something? Some dude. What does he... She said a leader. Let's let's. I I can start digging through the cloaks of the. Maybe assassins. we just killed him. Roll me two d six plus canny. Can I help? Yes, you can. <laughs> Roll your Braga bond, Betty. Okay. Um, <laughs> three, four, five. It's a negative no, one. And on no your tokens. Roll. Oh, I have, I have a token. Oh, wait, doesn't do anything. Six. Betty, you have one. There is one re-roll. Use yeah. the re-roll because okay. I already have a negative okay. one on this because okay. I can't okay. re-roll. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, why not? Never mind. Ah! Yep. Four, five, six. Oh, you're taking for a seven. Wonderful. You get a plus one. So that negates my negatives. That's right. still good. I was going to say, we should have just had you search the. I don't know. It's fine. I had the worst candy of this group. No, you're Do smart. It. You thought to look. Great. Okay. Yeah, so that's an 11. Minus one is still a 10. Yeah. Actually, no, we don't have the minus one. Zero results. It's 11. With an 11, Braga, you start to search the pockets of this master assassin. And not only do you find the contract that was signed that sent the assassins out on the various mercenary groups of Palisade, hired by one, hired by the Merchants Guild. You see that it is con their contract was paid in full by the Merchants Guild. Then... Braga, you find on this master assassin a key ring and a note that says your lodgings for the time you're here you have complete access do it and be gone so this actually worked out we we have I explained to them what I have we have now. We have somewhere we can stay because everyone, the old, no one knows they're supposed to be here. There's, if, if we killed the other ones in our previous past, so we can go to their lodging and we can hide out there and, and figure out where this chaosium is. And that owl kid boy did say that this was a clue to lead us to the next part. I mean, this is probably a way to lead to the chaosium. Too. Yeah. And we should take their cloaks. Oh yeah, we gotta, yeah, for yeah, for really, sure. They're really. They're really bloody. Maybe we should... I, I, I try to look for a brother's pony outfit that's not too bloody. <laughs> Roll me 2d6 plus candy. We are $50 away from oh, me oh. making a GM move. If you want to see a, a GM move, I recommend uh, a good one is, is happening right around now. Oh. <laughs> At the moment, that was an it. So that should be an it. With an eight, I'm going to say... Because I'm going off of the art here... I will say you are able, you see that uh, the kind of the teal brother pony, the one who kind of had a very uh, a detailed chest piece and very nice harem pants, you see that uh, the harem pants are not bloodied, pretty intact, just have a little bit of dirt at the knees. All right, well, you know, I could be selfish here and take them, but Braga, he's about your height. Do you want these pants? I better take them because I'm wearing my peaches outfit. I'll wear your peaches outfit, or like take a piece of it. Is there a piece of it that like? I, I mean, you could take all of it. Guys, like, you could just take some cloaks. I don't know what. what you guys I'm do? taking a cloak. It's all bloody. Yeah. It's all, all right. bloody. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, can, I don't mind. I'm taking. I'm taking I a just bloody cloak. Literally took his eye out. Here, I give. I give you the shawl that that Betty made Great. for me, and I take the cloak. Great. I take the shawl. You and take I, a like, bloody cloak. Are, are the they both bloody? Like, do they both get stuff in the eye, or just one of them? Oh, yeah, I only knocked the, the head off of the other guy, so that's not blood. Right. I, will I say would know. They have, they have these kind of waist wraps. I will say if you take kind of the waist wrap 
around them and use it as a shawl. They don't have... They have some blood on them, but they're not completely okay. drenched. So I take the waist wrap from one, and I put, I put the cloak on, take the waist wrap, put it around my head, so I have like this black assassin kind of outfit thing going on there. Great, with a pink jacket on your peaches outfit. But I'm, I'm wearing the cloak over it, though. Oh, you're wearing the cloak over yeah. it? Oh, got it. So yeah. much no, I gave, I gave my stuff from the temple to him. Yeah, Hannah. I took the tunic oh, and the, the, tunic. And the yeah. um, wrap. There's so yeah. much bad disguising happening. Uh, I'd like to search um, the assassins for... Specific, specifically, thieves' tools or uh, any ah. more extra daggers. Roll me 2d6 plus canny. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, that second poll should be starting in the chat very soon, so make sure you vote in it. Um, that would be a 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Use a reroll. Use a reroll. Oh, maybe it's not There that are one. no rerolls. Never mind. It's okay. With I a guess 6? It, yeah, it's okay. Betty, as you reach into the pouch of the junior assassin, uh, unfortunately, the sleeping the sleeping powder that, or yes, the sleeping powder that this assassin carried in his pouch suddenly just kind of, as you open it up, it just explodes in your face, and you are now passed out. Not again. Oh. <sighs> you know, you think she'd have a tolerance at some point. At some point, you exactly. think so. You think I, I pick her up, up and put her on my shoulder. Um, I'd like to sidestep that sleeping powder patch and just look for a couple other like. Maybe some thieving tools on her behalf, or like a couple of weapons that I might be able to use more than a quarter staff. See, roll me 2d6 plus skill. Why is that skill? Don't canny. Don't, don't fight with I'm the kidding. Key. No, it's, no I know. It's, it's canny. I know. Is it? It's canny. Uh, five, You're six, seven, eight, nine. So it wasn't going to matter anyway. Yeah, nine. I'll say the only weapons you can see are the weapons that they use that are currently now lodged in uh, the bodies of, well, they're kind of off to the side. You, have, you see uh, two bloodied daggers and uh, one bloodied kind of rapier. Yeah, I'd like to take the rapier. Um, so, like, I'll, I'll take, like, a strip of the cloak, like, one of their cloaks and, like, tie it around the rapier. Like, it's like I don't know, just so that when I... I'm going to tie it around the be- me. Anyway, I got it on me now. You have the rapier have tied the rapier. around you. Do I still have that extra dagger I took out of my own body? <laughs> yes, because you did not use it, right? Sweet, now I got three daggers. There. Cool. Is that sword that I cut off still on the ground? The one that, like... Or was that, that was a dagger, wasn't it? Never mind. It was a dagger. Okay. I need a new sword. And we get our own weapons back. Yeah, yeah you get your own weapons back. Everyone's our... getting real situated. Right, How right. nice. We're all getting really situated. We're so smart now. Yeah. This is so smart. And you just reached $500. Yeah. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much. How did you know? When suddenly, as the four of you are kind of coming to, now knowing, okay, great, we're going to start heading towards the Merchant's Guild. You hear, <laughs> you feel the ground rumble beneath you. <gasps> it's the troll. <laughs> You hear the ground rumble beneath you. You hear the the brushing of the trees. <gasps> it's the troll. And you remember that you recall from when you were all assigned your original missions that the brothers' ponies were, well, their indeed their task was to slay the one armed ogre at Mulch Hill. Oh. Why don't we remember details? Why is my memory? Look, we've had to kill a lot of things over time. And Let's, the thumps get louder. But this is not our this is not our battle right now. And faster and faster <laughs> Might have and become faster. That. As the trees start crunching and you hear and you see the birds flying from the trees faster and faster as you see this screaming ogre just come lumbering out of the forest. <sighs> just wielding a stone hammer as this ogre just like roars and just kind of yells and sees that there's already bloodshed around you and almost just like on the smell of blood just you see its eyes dilate and just come charging immediately towards you this ogre is like thick and he is uh, (laughs) in a sexy way nope in a very scary way and he is just uh, standing at about uh, a good 14 feet and is just now charging towards you, this ogre with his stone hammer. And he's got some light, some light armor on him as well. As you see that, yeah, within one arm and one jacked arm is his stone hammer. And the other arm you see is kind of like where why he's called the one-armed ogre. <laughs> Is this the gut scuba that broke my arm? It's not the same. No, yeah. you are you are currently you're feeling some pain because the rat queens, the current, the past rat queens, the rat queens of the past are currently fighting or have possibly ended that fight with that 
believe it was a troll. Troll. A troll. troll. And this is an ogre. This is an ogre. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I need. God, we. I need Betty. We need Betty. He's I gonna like, climb up. Yeah. I like try to start smacking Betty to wake her up. <laughs> yeah. And and before that happens, I climb up. I do the climb up on the on the ogre, and 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 it's gonna stick the the, the rapier right into the, the the spine in the neck. I, 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 you and your spine attack. I don't know. I hear I hear that works. I'm gonna say okay. You're gonna try and slap Betty. Yeah, like yeah. Hard, I'm trying to like just like jiggle her away. Wake her up. Roll me two d six plus skill. Please okay. don't break my neck. Wake <laughs> her up. We need her woken up. Skill, 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 skill. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna be a seven. With a seven, <laughs> uh, twenty damage. Ooh. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not hitting her hard. I'm just like jostling her. I know. You're jostling her. I'm, I'm burping her. her. You're <laughs> jostling her, but unfortunately, you kind of, uh, as you're jostling her, this ogre starts to charge towards you. And, and, and unfortunately, Brog, as you try to just kind of jostle, but you almost like smack her too hard. So you're just like, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah. And, uh, Betty, uh, you take. I knew ooh, it. Sorry. Five points Jesus. of <laughs> damage as now Braga has kind of dislodged one of your spinal, co- like your oh spinal God. column, and now you've got a severe pain in your back that's going <laughs> to limit you in uh, your attacks. It's five. Oh my okay. God, sorry, Betty. Uh, so now all of your attacks are going to take a negative one because you were in like spine crunching pain. Oh my God. <laughs> you do you feel good about yourself? No, I hurt my friend bad. I I see Hannah start climbing. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm making leaps and bounds, like, are like sprinting, but like artistically too. Like, wait, did I wake her up at least? Yeah, yeah. you did. You are awake <laughs> now. Okay. That was the mixed success. Okay, okay. You're awake. thank goodness. God, you're awake. that was like, that was like a thank failure. Goodness. You're awake. You just took some massive damage. Yeah. Oh, my back is killing me, and I'm pretty sure I've got like maybe nine hit points left. <laughs> let, let adrenaline take over right now, Betty. Okay. All adrenaline. You can feel the pain later. Oh. Could have just laid her down, let her sleep, and just Walking took care of the like ogre. This. Okay, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, now you really are like your auntie. Shut up. Someone did this I put her down. <laughs> yes, you put her down. Uh, 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 Hannah, you are just feeling real confident, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> when suddenly your baggage is triggered. <laughs> Hannah, describe to me how your selfishness kind of maybe makes you make a bad choice in this Listen, fight. girls, I got this. We don't need Betty to do all the climby things. Yeah. I can handle it. Yeah, get us in the wrong place, wrong time. I'm just gonna make this all good. I got it, got it. My top dad is dead, and I'm just gonna get a bag in his butt. They so- take out the rapier from behind the ribbon, and like, and like, I, I, I think I'm gonna use it as like my climbing tool. <laughs> this is how the scene plays out. Oh God, <laughs> Betty. Violet and Braga, you see Hannah just like, it goes from this almost this wave of confidence to just this uh, sob as you see Hannah just kind of like, as she's starting to cry, the weight of the, the weight of the offense kind of taking a toll on her as uh, she charges towards this <laughs> ogre. Unfortunately, because of her emotional state, it's kind of causing her to slow down. As you see Hannah just kind of <laughs> just slow, slowly sobbingly walk up to the to the ogre and just take her rapier and just go <laughs> right, in, right into its knee, its knee. but unfortunately uh, ogres are pretty pretty strong they have pretty like thick, thick skin. skin yeah and so you just see this rapier just kind of <laughs> ping like it peters off it just does not pierce this ogre just, at all just kill us there's nothing, there's nothing else you just die as the ogre just looks at you Hannah and you just the, the three of you just see the scene of just a sobbing Hannah in front of this ogre <laughs> as he takes as he just kind of punts you <laughs> for three points of damage <laughs> as all of a sudden you see Hannah kind of go tumbling off to the side wait wait so an ogre punting Hannah is three points damage, but me smacking my front of the back is five points of spinal damage I don't, I don't, I don't decide the dice. <laughs> no, I don't decide the dice. I'm not complaining. I think it's hilarious. All right, sorry. So yeah, Hannah's just kind of been like, you see Hannah rolling off to the side. Now rolling down Mulch Hill. Am I, con- oh am I conscious? <laughs> yeah, you're still conscious. Okay. You're just like, uh, as you see, like you're like, <laughs> rolling down the hill. I want to, I want to take my axe and, and hit the, <laughs> hit the ogre in the knee. Roll me 2d6 plus guts. Uh, 
Um, that is a nine. Do I have any tokens? Violet, you have two tokens. All right, ten. Wonderful. With a ten, describe to me this knee hit. This um, knee slice. I um I see Hannah rolling down the hill, and I'm shocked. And then I start laughing a little because it's the way she's rolling is is comedic too. And so I use I use the momentum of my laughter. I'm like, <laughs> and then on the <laughs> I, I let it go, and it uh it's a it's a direct. It doesn't even spin this time. I don't know. I mean. Physics, it's difficult for everybody. And it just <laughs> it just goes straight. Oh, were into you the throwing your axe or just were you just was it a hit or was it a throw? Ooh, I thought it was a throw, but it should it could be a hit. Did I say hit? I'll take it back. I <laughs> I laugh <laughs> and then I I lunge forward, hitting it in the knee. You yes, uh, Violet, you like all of a sudden you see like Violet just laughing and just charging and you hit it, you kind of slice it in the yeah. kneecap of the leg that just punted Hannah. Yeah. And you land a very nasty gash on it where suddenly you start to see this kind of blue, this blue ogre blood Gross. start to kind of pour out of the kneecap of this ogre as it as you see it kind of hold its knee and start to rock back and forth a little bit, getting even more angrier as uh, it had to put down its hammer to hold its knee, and so now it's kind of slowly getting itself back together, picking up its stone hammer. Brog, you look like you want to do <laughs> something. While it's doing that, I'm going to run around and hit at the bottom of its other leg at the Achilles tendon. Brog, as you start to approach this ogre... Uh... Your baggage gets oh, triggered. Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. No, I love it. I So, okay, I start to do that, and then I stop, and I look at Betty, and I see that she's hurt, and it's my fault, and I, I like, hesitate just long enough that it sees what I'm doing, and it catches me. Yes, as this ogre kind of catches you in oh. the act, uh, it's kind of it, more aggressively, while it was taking its time, kind of holding onto its knee and its wound, it then takes its stone kind of warhammer in the air and just swings back and knocks you kind of backwards for four points of damage as you're kind of sent now tumbling over the south on the on the south side of mulch hill uh i want to try to climb up a nearby tree and throw uh two dag two uh darts into its eyes Two daggers or two darts? Darts. I have darts, too. Oh, you have darts, too. never used them. <laughs> okay, roll me 2d6 plus skill, but you do have a negative one on this roll. You have a negative one on all rolls okay. until... Or on all combat rolls until you are healed. Okay. It's going to be a while. You know, the cleric. <laughs> uh, ooh, it's a five, six, seven. Would have been an eight, so it's a seven. No tokens? Betty, you have no tokens, but there are two re-rolls. I don't know. So it's a mixed success right now. Seven's pretty good. Yeah, seven's pretty good. I think with your negatives, you might want to hold on yeah. to that mixed seven. success. Seven. Mixed success. With a seven, I'm going to say, once again, you're going to have to make a choice, Betty. You can either climb the tree, or from the ground, you're going to be able to throw uh, both daggers into... Darts? To yeah. Both darts into the ogre's eyes. I'll stay on the ground. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. On the ground, yes, Betty, you are able to just, like, aim and just nail both darts, right eye, left eye, and all of a sudden you see this ogre. Just these big, wet ogre tears start to fall onto the ground as his knee is still bleeding, and now he's crying, and his eyes are, like, blue blood bleeding. Uh, but he's kind of stumbling really close to you, Betty. Great. Can I try to roll out of the way, or is it too late? Suddenly, an air of chaos Yikes. fills <laughs> the field. No. No. Hannah, as you climb <laughs> back up, you realize that when you had been kicked, you had let go of your quarter staff, and it had been kicked as well. As suddenly, you see that your mage staff is now snapped in half. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you keep your weapon. This is why we can't have nice things. Don't talk to me right now. You just almost killed our friend. She, she, she. And I and I and I like uh, throw both pieces at it <laughs> as I'm like climbing, cr crawling on my knees. Roll me two d six plus skill. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to hurt it. I just am like pissed. But we'll see if it causes any damage. Uh, eight. With an eight, I will say like, what was at the tip of your staff? Was it? Like, it was like an orb. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was like a. Um, if, if it was a glass piece, it had like swirly energy mm -hmm. in it. If it wasn't, it's a, it's a, it's a quartz something or other. I will say. As you throw the head of the, the broken head of the staff towards this ogre, uh, it hits him in the chest. It doesn't break. Had it broken, it would have been pretty, pretty nasty. It doesn't break, but instead it kind of just like, ugh, he gets kind of hit in the chest a little bit as he's now just kind of now stomping around and is about to step on Betty. What do you want to do? I want to roll out of the way. Barrel, barrel. <laughs> roll barrel. me 2d6 plus, I'm going to say, canny. Okay. Two barrel. With the minus one. The minus one. Wowie, wowie. Uh -oh. uh, that's a five plus one instead of a six. It's a six. You have no tokens, but there are two re-rolls. I would do it. You I could take it. Game as well. I if I keep getting damaged, I'm probably going to die, so you guys will not have a Betty is at nine health right now. Okay, all right, all right. Under ten. There. Five, six, seven, eight. That's an eight. There you go. With an eight, Betty, yes, you are able to get out of the way, but you do get nicked a bit, kind of like the force, the force of the stomp of this ogre kind of like pushes you a little far down the hills. You start to roll faster, and you kind of hit a rock. <gasps> two points of damage. Oh my god! I, I want to rock. I want to run um, behind the the leg, uh, uh, and I just want to bite it. Uh, in uh, did you get the Achilles heel? Did you? Get no, I, I my back is triggered, so I, I didn't just want to bite uh, in the Achilles heel, just just to try like a like a an insect situation, so that it'll distract uh, the ogre from Betty. Roll me two d six plus guts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is an eight, and I have a token. Violet, yeah. you have one token. One. Oh, okay. oh, here's an update on tokens. Violet has one, Braga has five, <laughs> Hannah has what? one, and Betty has zero. Why does Braga have five? <laughs> it's amazing. You just hurt her friend. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think actually, like, finish your thing, and then I'll do my thing. Okay, that's just an, that's just an eight. So with an eight, you do get the ogre's engine. Yeah, you just kind of, you bite into it. But unfortunately, like the skin is so tough. You kind of, you went really hog wild on this violet and you just slammed your jaw. Oh, you slammed your jaw oh. down real hard. Oh. And this, you're just, just kind of cracked. Your jaw has now cracked kind of on the skin of this ogre, and you just took five points of damage. Oh, my As you start shit. to, as you feel kind of your lower jaw, like a little bit looser now and kind of slightly dislocated from chomping down on the hard skin of this ogre. You bastard. You don't, should, don't talk right now. Uh, uh. Braga, what do you want to do? I actually think that the combination of my baggage being triggered and Hannah saying to Braga, you almost killed our uh. friend. I, I actually think that I need to make a roll of some sort. I don't know, maybe like what's... Like I want to like regain my composure because right now I don't think that I can be any good. I think that like, I think I'm second guessing myself and I'm like having a mild panic attack. So what should I roll to like just to see if I can even get back into this fight? I like that. I'm gonna say roll heart. Okay. I'm gonna say roll heart to see if you can kind of. Uh, this roll will be Braga essentially kind of pulling, being like, nope, just knowing that she is doing her best and that she is doing the best for the team okay. and that she she is an at like training yeah, your confidence back. Because I'm picturing Hannah saying you almost killed our friend, and I'm picturing Braga just like I'm like dropping my axe. And kind of like falling on my knees and like taking like deep breaths sure. and like this is me like I'm trying to like compose myself. Now. Yeah, I'm gonna say that uh, yeah, if you roll a successful heart roll, uh, you will be able to kind of talk yourself out of this panic attack. Okay, so that's gonna be a seven. You do have five tokens. Yeah, you're right. So I'll use three of them. Wonderful. So describe to me uh, how you handle your panic attack, Braga. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that I I think that I mean like I'm a, I'm a trained warrior. So I know what, I don't know if the term would be shell shock here, but I know what like battle, like, like I guess I would say battle madness, we'll mm -hmm. say. Like, I know what this is like. I've seen, I, I've commanded my troops through it. So I know what it is. And so I just take a really, really deep breath and I s just like take a second and I, 
I kind of like let time slow down a little bit and like watch to the battlefield. And then I see that my compatriots are getting really hurt. And I know that if I don't do something now, they'll get hurt worse. And that'll be even worse than me hurting Betty. So I then I like grab my axe and then I just like stand up and I go right back to doing what I was trying to do before, which is hit that Achilles tendon. Wonderful. I'm going to say you get a plus one on this roll. Oh. Because, yeah, you have kind of, uh, you've gotten, your, you've gotten yourself out of that situation. And now you kind of feel even more focused. You're feeling better. You're feeling, yeah, this is going to be, yeah, you're focused now. All right. Okay. That is a 14. Well. With well, a 14. Well. Describe to me how ding dong successful this is. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I think that I take a deep breath. I walk up and I, I just run up behind him and I just swing and I like completely sever that tendon so he cannot use that leg anymore in an effective way. Like it is just it is just like like a night like like through hot butter. It just goes mm-hmm. and I just rip that tendon. Was this the leg that was not injured or this the leg of the This is the leg that was not injured because that's like that I was going for when he had his knee up in the air, I was mm-hmm. trying to knock his balance off. I will say with a 14 that, yeah, you just, all of a sudden, the three of you just see almost Braga just kind of this quick slice moment. And then you see just this, yeah, this Achilles tendon of this ogre just boom, split open. As it falls, this ogre falls forward, landing on the knee that has the huge <laughs> yes. gash in it. And now is, like, screaming in pain on the ground, trying to use its one arm to kind of just crawl or trying to pick itself up, but it's unable just to pick itself up. It keeps rolling and keeps kind of putting its body weight on one arm, but it keeps just sliding because this ogre is in such pain. It can't focus on raising itself up. As I'm crawling on the floor, I have, in, in, in shame and feeling like horrible poop, I find the rapier that got pinked off of the knee mm-hmm. as I tried to go... Um, grab it, and I and I realize that as he's like stumbling, it, he's at his neck is at my height for a moment, and I go to slash the the underside of his neck to like finish him off, and and as I do that, I say to him, "You're just a pawn in this fate game, man." <laughs> Roll me two d six plus guts. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. 10. I will say yes, as this kind of, as this, you see this ogre try to pick himself up one more time, and yeah, on this final attempt to pick himself up, he, his neck is at rapier level. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but the pages are already written, man. You see his head kind of turn towards you as like both of his eyes are shut and just like blood and bleeding. (laughs) I'm sure you're leaving a family behind. Uh, I don't know what to say. (laughs) and uh, get him, like, sliced across the neck. And you see also, yeah, this perfect, yeah, Hannah, just kind of all your strength left. You just slice this ogre across the neck. As you see, like, (laughs) it just kind of slide and sludge onto the ground. And as its head hits the ground, the ground shakes beneath all of you, kind of just rocking you back and forth, kind of making it a little unsteady. And now the ogre that the brother ponies were supposed to slay is now slain. Palisade is... A little bit safer for the moment. Well, that worked out. Oh, uh, we were messed up though on the way. <laughs> oh, how can how can we help? Uh, uh, I mean, I definitely need healing, but we don't have D around. Don't we have potions? Didn't we get potions at the end when we left? I, don't know, I, got, a, I got a vial of poison. Oh, it was poison. It wasn't potion. Oh, yeah. it was, it, the letters are so similar. I'm glad poison, I didn't have you drink potion, that. Poison, poison, yeah. potion. Maybe, maybe back at the house that they sent the assassins to, there's going to be some stuff to heal them because they know they went out on a mission that was combat. Can, yeah, can, can I? Can uh, it's her, it's her back, right? Can I? Can I do a, a little adjustment for her? <laughs> can I? Can yes. I take? Can I? I, I take her. Uh, oh no. Uh, her arm and just like just do a little adjustment. <laughs> You want to do a chiropractic assessment <laughs> on Betty? Dwarven chiropractic. I am like afraid. I'm like, good luck. Betty, I am so sorry. I'm so roll sorry, Betty. Roll me 2d6. Where's your card? Um, <laughs> roll me 2d6 plus candy. <laughs> Violet. I, okay. All right. Let's do this. Do you remember when we killed Betty? <laughs> yeah. 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 I do, actually. That was the end of the rock point. Clearly. No, no. We kept going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 killed Betty. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> that's um, that would be a seven. There is one re-roll. Okay, and you shit. have one token. Okay. Well, it, the odds are not in your favor, but do it again. You want to do it right. You don't want to kill her. You're gonna kill her. Guys, <laughs> you gotta re-roll. Well, seven is re-roll. a mixed success, which means but she's gotta re-roll. Okay. Because she doesn't want to fail on oh this god, one. Oh god, oh god, oh and god. And then oh you god. guys can share oh the. Who knew oh. that Betty could possibly be ended by a chiropractic <laughs> adjustment? Well, only I... on the Rat Queens RPG. Oh, Bill for Boggins, Bill for Boggins. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no reroll? No reroll. There are no more rerolls. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not gonna we, had no. A mix, we had a mixed success. No! I'm so sorry. You have <laughs> one token. Oh, and it's, it's not going to happen. five. It would be a five. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wanted to oh, help you. I oh, wanted God. To help you. So God. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. Why you guys? Oh, my God. Oh. Thank you so much. This is your last episode. Oh, Great. my God. That's a series wrap on Betty. <laughs> She's got, she's got, the odds are in Betty's favor. Got nine. Okay, go ahead. She has a seven. She has, you have seven. I, oh, I have seven? I have yep. nine. Oh, I see, you're right. I have seven. I have seven <laughs> head points. Not, 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 not anymore. Not long. <laughs> seven. So what happens to me, Gemily? <laughs> as, as Violet, you kind of, you, you, Violet, <laughs> while you so do upset. have, Violet, due to the, the, the Black Forge's, due to the Black Forge's history, you were trained not only in fighting, but also in medicine. You were trained, you were trained in kind of anatomy, the best places to hit, and part of that as well was the anatomy of, of the spine, and how you can, yeah, like, what bones will help, what spinal, like, contractions will help which mm-hmm. ailments uh the right places yeah the right pressure points to hit in case of an emergency etc cetera, etc cetera. but violet unfortunately you only know how that works on dwarves you yeah. don't know how that works on smidgen smidgen mm-hmm. spines are a lot different than dwarven uh, spines uh, okay i mean no one told me that there are lots there's, of sheer there's two <laughs> so violet as you try to do this uh, where are you are in the are you in the neck are you in the middle of the oh, back I'm in the are you in the are you doing the middle like the, of the are you doing back. the kind of the air pressure oh, god. adjustment oh, uh, god. yeah uh-huh. mm-hmm. i'm uh, i'm i'm right th- i'm in the middle of the back great betty you're lying on the ground with uh, violet above you ready to do this chiropractic adjustment and yeah you do the thing where uh violet you say okay breathe in uh, you take a deep breath, and then Violet, you just slam your hands down. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, Betty, you take three points of damage, and now your spine is cracked. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm you take a so <laughs> sorry. Oh I swear god. I'm good at this. People come oh. to me. I'm so sorry. Oh, alright, Queens. It's been real cool. <laughs> Have fun finding that skull thing by yourselves. Betty. Uh, yes. You can still stand up, but now you're just kind of you're kind of broken at the side. Uh, I I scoop her up. I like cradle her. <sighs> just carry me like normally. I can't. I hate this. Ugh, I but so I'm trying to cradle the broken uh, back you have. I thought we were just talking about going to the assassin's place and not we're, trying to kill me again. We're just trying to do yeah, that. Okay, I, let's just let's, both let's of go. Those people hurt you. Let's let's go to their place. Let's see if there's any healing potions there. If not, we can go back. One of us can go back to the 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 temple and get some of that healing water that, that Violet used, and we can try to use some. Oh of that. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you do that. I, I'd go back and get it. I I would go go back by myself and get it. One of us would. Yeah. Betty, until you are healed, you will not take a negative two to all rolls. Oh my god. Cool, 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 cool. We're helping! Yeah. As so. Hannah, Hannah carrying Betty, Violet and Braga in tow, now slightly more disguised, slightly kind of dressed up. The four of you make your way down Mole Chill back into the metropolitan area of Palisades, where we cut back to the present in Elra's makeshift cottage. We see Elra sitting there pouring a cup of tea to Dee. Dee sits there, kind of three different tomes open up, not only in her lap. She's got one in her lap, one in her arm, and one on the table as Dee is furiously reading through all of the tomes at Elra, also known as Krona, goddess of times, makeshift home. Elra pours a cup of tea, pours a tea for herself. Sits in the chair across from Dee and cozies up. I 
think I have a way that I can send you to your friends. Give me your hand, D. D kind of takes a sip of tea, puts it down. All right. Sure. As D extends her hand that has the faint mark of Nerega. As Krona cups D's hand, you see the mark flash a brilliant purple and green as the runes kind of light up in the tentacle-like formation that is slowly starting to snake more and more up Dee's arm. Krona just kind of focuses on it. I can buy you some time, I think. I haven't talked with him in a long time. Perhaps it will go better than the last time did. And Dee kind of looks at her. What happened last time? I made a deal with Nerigoth. And that was how the headdress got sent to Palisade. Dee, it wasn't your fault at all. It was mine. That's how Garrick was able to find it. I made it obvious. But I believe this time I will be a little bit better with my negotiations. The fate of the world is at stake, Dee. Yours. And ours. Now this may hurt a bit, but... Give me some time. I'm going to commune with Nerigoth through you. As you see, Krona close her eyes and focus on D's marks. Uh, focus on D. As you see, the runes glow from a purple, and then they flash a brilliant gold. As Krona's body kind of starts to glow a gold, you see D kind of sit there. And you see her eyes roll back. And we cut back to the Rat Queens who are now making their way through the center of Palisades. The sun has begun to set. The night is settling in. As you all remember, this is about the time when well, you were helping Braga out. As dusk set upon Palisade, this was when you saw that the peaches, well, only what remained of the peaches, were tizzy in Braga. Braga, as you see the sun, as you see the kind of the sun, the stars in the sky, you have not forgotten that night. That night, the, even the temperature, the way the light was hitting the buildings, the way the light, the, the clouds, what the what the weather was like for that day, you remember, and I, you start I, to feel Braga, where you were, arrows. you were, you were, you uh, were shot in the boob. My favorite boob. Your favorite boob. <laughs> Braga, are you are you okay? Do you want to? Do you want to do anything? I want to fix what we did to you. Well, and that's, you know, whatever, but I mean... <laughs> Look, I've, I've I'll lost... I'll never forget that one, but, uh... I mean, I meant about your party. Is there anything we could do to help you guys? In the past? I don't think that we can. But I'm not going to lose another party. Not today. Not to, not, not again today, but not ever. We're going to get you healed, and we're going to stop this God's damned skull from destroying our city. We're going to bring Aralel back. We're going to bring um, everybody back. We're going to bring even, even fucking Sarah Lee. Yeah, even Sarah Lee. I, I, Abilene. I feel so... I feel so bad about uh, that. The, I thought, you know, I feel so bad about it. I, I would like to I'd like to split off and try to go to the church and the and, and and get some water. Hey, Violet, before you do that, I have a weird idea. This might not be very good. I feel like the owl's gonna come and yell at us about this. Do you think? I mean, Dee's not with us now. Do you think I can just trick past Dee into healing me by going to talk to her? 
Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I do too. I think it's better than me <laughs> going to get the dirty water out of the altar, in all honesty. We were all at that tavern celebrate, well, mourning our friends. Hmm. As the four of you <laughs> contemplate your way down the street, <laughs> you see. <laughs> uh, broke a pencil. <laughs> Uh, Calm down, Gemily. <laughs> wow. No, I have something to do here. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, <laughs> Betty, you see a familiar form. Oh, you see Butterscotch. Oh, yeah. Oh. You see Butterscotch the miniature pony who is happily drinking water out of a trough in front of a tiny, tiny storefront. Uh, with a person. How tiny is it, Emily? <laughs> very tiny. Yes. Um, <laughs> he has a very tiny storefront. Uh, as you see a a young woman. Oh. Uh, a young woman with kind of this this raven black hair, kind of braided behind her, uh, hanging up a sign on the door that says "Now Open." <sighs> Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, uh, call me crazy, but is this, is this the tiny hut where he sells the tiny, is this a tiny water situation where there's tiny water that's did, good? Did he say it? that he sold with his daughter? I don't remember. I, go, 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 go. I, I, I'll, I, I'm the healthiest. I will ask. Uh, I'm the healthiest. I will ask. Okay. Are you just going to leave me on the ground? Okay. No, no, I'm here with you, but oh, okay. I, all right. I, I'm just like taking care of you. Okay, that's all. All right. All right let's go. Okay. 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 Let's go. All right. And I, we ha- walk over and I'm like still, still tear stained in my Excuse me, my baby. Not, She's dying. I'm not her baby, but she I is am, right now. I am dying. You see the woman turn around. She's. Oh, you're a smidgen. Yeah. And. Oh, did you read the sign? Is see your oh, your oh. Are you? Do you sell? Do you happen to sell tiny bits of tiny hot tiny water? Of hot water. No, I don't. I'm sorry. <sighs> then I go to turn but around. I, no, but I do. I am. <laughs> I'm a world famous chiropractor. I'm a realm. <laughs> I'm a realm famous chiropractor that specializes in snitch and anatomy. Thank your you, Chad. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chad. No, your friend looks incredibly injured from her spine. <laughs> she They're is. all quacks. They're all quacks. <laughs> Don't believe it. I believed it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, lady. This is the first time I'm hearing the word chiropractor today, and it's not been great. Now it's the second time. Are you sure you're good at this? We need some some proof that you haven't killed before. I'm I'm half smidgen. My mother was a smidgen. I just thought you were petite. No, I'm I'm a halfling. Listen, if you mess up, I'm definitely gonna die. So I want you to take take my corpse and and bury it. No, no. And I like lightly slap her. No, you're not going anywhere. You hear me? What's your name? My name is my name is Kira. Kira, Kira, Kira. Kira. Kira's chiropractic. Uh, That's great. Can you? What can you do for our friend? How much? How much? Look, I I mean. She looks very dire. Here, I'm, I'm happy to offer it on the house. I would, oh, I thank would you. hate to have someone die in, we'll write a in good, front of my storefront. We'll write a I'm, great review on the board. I'm going to, like, glare her in the face, and I'm going to look. I'm going to go, you promise that you're not going to try to hurt our friend today? Roll me 2d6 plus hard. Oh, okay. my God. Hey, don't make her scared. Can I do my intimidation move that I bought last time? What's your intimidation? Where I use guts instead of heart when I use your guts. Okay. (laughs) Okay, that's gonna be a nine, and I'll use one of my two tokens to make it a ten. See her kind of like, she's in these kind of beautiful, these these kind of flowy, flowy tan and orangey and white kind of robes and skirts, and she's like, uh, uh, no, I'm, uh, I, I, I don't know why you're threatening me. I mean, I mean. All only good things. I'm into natural healing and and chiropracting and and the resetting of the spine. You know, all of our problems can be can be found in the body. Have you ever have you ever studied chakras? You know, you can. There's different parts of the body that radiate different energies that then affect a different. The more lady, you talk, lady, the more explain, I doubt it. The explain, more you explain, <laughs> explain your thing later. Fix our friend now. Look at what her head does. 
Oh, oh that's no. not a good. Please go oh, put her. God. Go put her on the. You see that there's a reese. There's a there's a fantasy. There's a fantasy. Uh, you see this is kind of this raised uh, this raised stretcher. Go put her on the stand. I'm gonna get some some smelling salts that will help also relax her and rejuvenate. Just do it, her. please do, stop talking. Do thing, do thing, explain later. I lay her down. I'm and also I, like a little bit hungry. If, that, if there's a, if you, uh, it probably would be restorative for her to have some food. I cut up fruit really well <laughs> for people's breakfasts, so I get. I'm happy to cut the fruit up if you have any fruit here. <laughs> I believe I have a few apples in a in a dish. Yeah. Are there any flowers around? I'd like to pick some flowers and put it along alongside her body while this is happening. No, there's no flowers. Okay. I'm not dead yet. I'm cutting her up some fruit. She's gonna eat this when she wakes up, just like she would have. If we're eating breakfast together. You should feel really guilty, leader. I do. Betty, suddenly, uh, you feel you start to smell. Uh, the hints of lavender and lemongrass and sandalwood. Oh. As you start to feel kind of your will and you're like almost the strength return to you, your vigor is returning when Kira no. just begins to, Kira begins to adjust you and suddenly you kind of hear this crack and this pop <laughs> and you are put back together. You see, oh. and you, as, as the three, as the other three of you see, uh, Kira is channeling healing hands as she does this chiropractic. Uh, and so your spine has not only been successfully readjusted, it has also been healed. Yes. And Betty, you are then healed for 15 points. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, pill for pogging. Wow. Oh, god. Hey, oh, hey. can you do your magic on me? I mean, I'm sure you I do other things with your hands. I only work for smidgens. But you didn't get a thing. I do, my, I do have a friend visiting who's staying upstairs. He's a local healer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me go get him. Is it's, he hot? You'll find out. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, no. as, as Kira ascends upstairs <laughs> and kind of, Ugh. you start to hear these kind of uh, hoof prints come down the stairs. <gasps> No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I got I got titillated for a second. Uh, and coming down the stairs, you see this kind of uh, salt and pepper tiefling with these kind of beautiful goat horns come down the stairs, wearing these kind of uh, blue and purpley kind of robe. Yes, where is the injured? Oh, I'm not injured. I'm just uh, tense. Let well. me see. Let me. He kind of he kind of looks towards you, Violet and Braga. You seem to have taken damage from the recent fight. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. real tough and <laughs> not yeah. interested in any longer. Yeah, mainly my uh, <laughs> yeah my my pride my pride's really hurt and my body's hurt. Yeah, I'm actually pretty hurt. Yeah, so I'll take yeah. whatever you you got. I'll take some of that good good healing. My name is Christoph, and no. I am a healer traveling through town. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, That's right. <laughs> this is my friend Kira. <laughs> yes, we met her. Yes, she's yeah. very good. She is starting her business. You're, re- I you're I being would, redundant. I thought I would be here for opening weekend <laughs> to show support for my friend. That's really sweet that you did that. Friendship is important. You see, us healers must stick together. Some people want us in a party. Some people don't want us in a party. Oh, you should join our party for sure. No! We're going to I, eat it. I just shoved some apples in, uh, <laughs> in her mouth. <laughs> just chew more. You're healed. And I'm like... Chuk, chuk, yeah. Chuk. I mean, what, what do you charge for healing services? Look, if this, it is Kira's opening weekend. Good press is good press. It is on the house. Your friend... You see, do you, do, you, do you think that Kira did a good job on you? It's a straight up miracle. I thought she was dead. Yeah. I thought she was. I yeah. thought she was going to be chiropractic. Thank the gods. Then all I ask is if you spread the word about Kira's chiropractic. Starting a business here in Palisade. It is a very good idea. Nothing bad ever happens here. Uh, I, yeah. I get to an idea and I go outside and I start trying to make a sign to hang on Butterscotch's back. It says Kira's chiropractic and healing this way. <laughs> also, you do successfully. Like, you're able to take some wood because Kira was kind of building her sign <laughs> off to the side and had some paint from the freshly painted sign. So you're able to make like a little hanging 
hanging a sandwich board on butterscotch. Kira, you know what you should do is over the next few weeks, you should like travel outside the city and like spread the word. <laughs> Roll me 2d6 was hard. Okay. Hey, Braga, should we go around telling people be... that Harbingers are dr- doom? <laughs> it's going to be an 11. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe, yeah. I'm, I'll think about it. That's a, that's a good point. It's a great point. I've seen many successful businesses flourish due to this method. Yeah, word of <laughs> mouth is the cheapest form of advertising. Now, Look, about that I need, healing. Yes, I need to. We've talked a lot about business. Let me heal you. Thank you. As you see him kind of uh, withdraw his hands, and you see that, like, his, his hands are just kind of covered in these beautiful kind of golden rings and bangles. And this, you see the edge of like a silky frilly shirt underneath <laughs> uh, as he kind of closes his eyes and starts to summon uh, his deity. As uh, you are both, as he kind of puts, he puts a hand down on you, Braga. He puts a hand down on you, Violet closes his eyes and you feel this kind of warm sensation almost like this fire this kind of heat soar it's like kind of course through your veins and up through your face and kind of throughout your veins but then you feel that all like you've regained six points of Ooh. health nice. apiece so you're both back up to I 20 f- I feel yes. fire I said you weren't doing it Hell I was wasn't. I was from, I'm talking about from the fireplace. Hell was that? <laughs> how, how do you feel? I, I, so much better. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christoph. We really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I was super, like, almost dead. Very grateful. But you should listen to Braga. Maybe take a do, do a promotion, do a PR tour. Oh, about, PR tour. About the yeah. Lands. See, I made, I prepared buttercup, butterscotch for you. It's be oh, your I see. Yes, you vehicle. have prepared this pony right outside. Yes. Yeah. That is very kind. Well, one of us will... Uh, I do uh, enjoy this idea, but perhaps one of us must stay in the shop. Look, we will... Well, we need to talk shop another okay. time. Oh, right, 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 right. Do sure. Our best. I believe uh, Kira and I are going to go grab a drink at the local tavern. Which uh. one do you recommend? Oh, uh, not the one that we are going to. Yeah, there's another one on the outskirts of town that's... So yeah. good. Yeah, yeah the it's Black like Seder a, gets a lot of rough and tumble. Oh, you yeah, don't want to be yeah. in the middle Real of that. Real bad. I think there's like a wine bar situation. Oh, a wine bar. Yeah. They'll, they'll taste. They'll let oh. you taste what is it. The, what is the name of this wine bar? Uh, Carruthers. Carruthers. <laughs> Carruthers. Wine, wine bar, bar and, and grill. grill. Mm-hmm. And the grill. Yes, you're, you're wise. What better off there? Mm-hmm. The food at the other place always oh, served yeah. rock. Yeah, yeah, Been sick yeah. multiple times. Wish you were here sooner. Yeah, oh, full of yeah, rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want to nice. enjoy, Carlos, because like, if it burned down someday, you'd be sad you missed it. So you should really mm-hmm. enjoy it. That's right. Mm-hmm. You never know who's going to burn down yeah. a bar. Yep. Well, you never know. So it's like you should just enjoy things while they last, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. That's right. The, the cruel moment. hand of fate. Yeah. You have been so kind to us. Thing, I have, we have healed you and you have repaid us with travel advice in return. Well, that's the least we could do because uh-huh. we're not going to pay you, so... Come, Kira, let us go talk amongst wine and grill. <laughs> as, uh, as you see, Kira and Kristoff, uh, they turn around, uh, and Kira, this way? Is it, is it on the, is it really, the west? Really? When you think you've gone too far, it's not far Keep enough. Going. You going. It, it's one of those, it, it, it's a destination. Uh, yeah. you see a, you'll see a hill, a, a mossy trunk. Then there will be a broken fence. Still, you walk past that. Yep, and it's, it's, yep. not too f- it's not too far. Well, do you want a good workout? Did you get your, your steps in today? I mean, I did just set up my storefront. Well, yeah, but it's a beautiful day. It's worth it. Worth you it, could ride the, the pony if you... That would help. And there's yeah. no ogres that way anymore. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. We'll take... Uh, Roll me 2d6 was hard. I'm not going <laughs> to make you work for it. Well, I got zero heart, and that's a five, so thanks. What are you, wimp? You know, uh, I, 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 we're gonna sit. We're gonna sit here and think about okay. it. But thank oh, yeah. you for the suggestion. Yeah, for, you know what? Sure. Why don't I cut you guys some fruit and you guys can stay? <laughs> in. I think you've already, it's like Violet, you've already, <laughs> Violet, you've already sliced up all the fruit like in the room. I think, I think we're good. Right? <laughs> you guys, you got plenty of plenty of things to eat. I think we got enough in. fruit. You throw it in the fireplace. It's a grill. It's a grill. Yeah. Oh, have you ever had grilled pears? 
Oh, with some bas- ooh, some balsamic and yep. some goat cheese. You, oh, you I think I have some upstairs. Cheese, right? I'm gonna go. Oh, we're gonna have. We're gonna stay in tonight. Okay. What do you think about that, Krista? Get a little bit of woohoo, and you guys have a great time. <laughs> You just insinuated that we are a thing. She just thinks she's just weird. I'm just Very saying sexual. that you, you do the right amount of eating, whining, dining, anything can happen. Well, uh, we are both asexual, so oh. perhaps some good times will be had, but not in the graphic way you described. I, I just would say it's a possibility. I wasn't here to just. She's very graphic, and we can't help. I'm so sorry. It's we're been a long we're gonna day. Go. Yep. We're gonna yep. go. We're gonna uh-huh. go. We're gonna go. Sometimes I do woohoo, and I don't mean that, and I mean it like a. Nope. nope. You're saying nope. this is like go. the forum. You're like go. going yep. out yep. the door. Yep. We're like dragging her. Like nope, woo-hoo. we're good. We're good. Like yep. when you win something, woohoo. As you start to make your way back into Palisades, you reach a crossroads, kind of a crossroads near the town square, where if you go to the left, you will head towards the Black Satyr, where you know that your current forms are located. Your past current forms are enjoying a good drink, reveling in their lives. You head to the right, you will head to the Merchant's Guild's kind of storage room, mm. but which has been transformed into the assassin's kind of stay. I think we should head to the warehouse. I think that... Mm, this would be the perfect opportunity to, like, watch ourselves from the window. It'd be real creepy. Yeah, but that was a rough day, and I don't, I don't know if we want to add any more stress to that. I don't want to see myself that day. I don't know about you, but... If you don't want it, we don't want it. Uh, okay. Anna? Yeah, whatever one wants. It's fine. Sorry, I, I, was just, I was morning friends that day. Okay, let's go to this Essence cool hangout yeah. that we have a key to now, and hopefully there's not more Assassin's just chilling out in there. That's right. We go there. <laughs> you make your way towards the Merchant Guild headquarters of Palisade. This is a huge, huge structure. It is a large kind of storage-like building that, Betty, you know, houses a number of office, offices as well as a kind of underground storage for whatever the guild brings in and brings out. Palisade being a port city on the edge of the Shimmering Sea is one of... This, this merchant guild is one of the most highly... Like, it's the money of Palisade. It comes through here. And on the other side of this large structure is kind of a smaller warehouse off to the side where you see just a smidgen, a blonde, curly-haired smidgen smiling and uh, reading a book, sitting on a stool uh, near this storage area. Um, Can I try to get situated to see if I know who this smidgen is? Sure. Okay. Get is it plus? I'll say get. Are uh, you want to get situated or, or get personal? Person. Yeah, heart. Heart. Ah, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't know who this smidgen is specifically. This doesn't look like a smidgen you've met before. However, looks like a very friendly smidgen. You definitely detect no malice, no negativity, no untowardliness from this smidgen. All right, guys, I got this. Can we just walk by it? Just I don't understand. Well, why like, why don't, are we even trying to engage? I feel like they shouldn't like, know that we're here and we're not the assassins. We look like the assassins. They're not just all black. So like, I should just talk to her and try to get her out of here. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. And oh, hello. Uh, hello. Hello there. Uh, what, what, what's your name? Well, my name is, is Tom Wary Shandy. Okay. Uh, what are you doing out here all by yourself, Tom? Well, I'm just, I'm just uh, sitting here. Uh, uh, doing my duty. I'm the I'm one of the new uh, security guards here for the Merchants Guild, and I'm here to help those in need. Uh, I can offer assistance if you need it. Oh, uh, I'm here to just help. Wow, you know what? You're Tom. That's great. I was actually uh, sent here to relieve you of your duty so that you could go and celebrate with everyone else in the in the Black Seder. They're all hanging out in there, and then the merchants, uh, they're all over there buying everyone drinks, and they wanted to celebrate with you, too. Did you, um, I'm, I'm here to relieve you, because I already had some drinks, and I'm, I'm ready to protect in your place. Roll me 2d6 was heart. Four, five, six. 
Uh, seven. No tokens. Betty, you have no tokens. Seven. No, I I recognize you. Oh, have we met? You're the Rat Queens. You're one of the Rat Queens. <gasps> yeah. This is so cool. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Do you want an autograph? No. Can I? Can I tell you a secret? Sure. Betty, come closer. Hannah, Brog, and Violet, you see just kind of Betty coming in closer to this to this smidgen. Mm -hmm. Can I, uh, while doing so, also be aware of any traps I be occurring? <laughs> there are no traps. Okay. I think we might need your help. Why is that? Well, I don't know. I only believe in what's good and right. Well, that's who I am. That's my. That's who I am as a person, as a smidgen. I only want to be a friend to those in need, and well, there were some assassins that were that were staying here, that were brought here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just got a bad feeling in my rumblies and my tumblies that like this isn't a good thing. And well, you're the rat queens. You always, even though you get a little bit rowdy, I, I've heard of your stories. But uh, you could perhaps, uh, I don't know, do something about this. There's also. Uh, I'm not, what if I told you? There's also what, hey, kid? Sh 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 what? You're not here. We killed them. You're not here. Oh god damn it! I walk, up, walk I, up. I I'm read. I'm lip reading. I'm like, we killed those merchants. What? Yeah, so we did. What she's trying to say is they were trying to harm innocent people. And we saved and lives we, we today. We protected them, but we did have get to murder. Rid of the problem. Oh. They tried to murder us. And lots of good people. And there's a what? Were you gonna say? Only two d six plus heart, Hannah. Which I got none. You're really missing D right now. She's all at heart. <laughs> uh, seven. What are my token statuses? You have one token, Hannah. All right, I'll just leave it there then. Oh, uh, killing's pretty bad. Oh, I'm, uh, not I'm, after I'm, we saw the murder group of people. Oh. We saved them. Saved them. Saved them. Right. I mean, assassins. Assassins are pretty bad. They were all dressed in kind of black shrouds and mm -hmm. and, and real shady. Didn't really. They didn't really talk to me. They, they didn't want to have anything to do with a smidgen, which uh kind of hurt my feelings. Oh, we have a smidgen in our group, mm -hmm. so we're good people. We're here to protect this town too. Serve and protect. So and and discriminate. You know, the and thing we discriminate you're worried about, we, we took care of. All right. Uh, See, I don't, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can go and tell uh, the higher ups, my, my boss, uh, uh, Garrick, if if I'm really happy with working here, or if I, if I feel any 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 suspicion here, because I'm 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 a little worried about what he'd do to me. Do you want to know a secret? Yeah, we should just tell him. He's a bad, bad man, and we're trying to infiltrate from the inside. I knew it. Yes. So you think this this feeling you have in your stomach? In my tumblies. That thing? We are the answer. But you need to stay here. We'll protect you. Don't get me wrong. It's a scary situation. So you, your instincts are totally right. Mm -hmm. But we need you because we know that you're a good person. If you quit, then we, are, we don't have you. We need you. So I gotta be on the inside. Gotta yes. be on the inside. You're We're like on the inside. Double agent. You're a, you know what? I don't say this ever. 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 Testify. You're a rat queen. She never says that. You're a rat queen. I feel like this is a very, very quick initiation. <laughs> we need you, bud. We need you. The battle for good is quick and painless. Painless. Oh, well, well, it makes you feel good. She means makes you feel it, it, without good without without pain. Without yeah, pain. Yeah, because you feel real, no pain. Real positive about it. Mm-hmm. Well, if, if you're really, how do you know Garrick's a bad person? There's like all this proof in his office that I saw. Oh. Yeah, there's like hard evidence. I'm not really allowed well, to go in. Yeah, there. I wouldn't exactly. try. There's traps and every. I, I did see bad it. guy, yeah. bad guy. Yeah. He's he's literally torturing a woman right now. It's really bad. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. No, so, I, I think you're you're smart. You're yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need you to be smart man and just watch, and we will. <laughs> Braga like holds up a note and points to it. Like we li like she's like she's like doesn't want to be seen because she's dressed like, a, like an assassin. But she's like letting you guys know we literally have a note from Garrick hiring assassins. If you wanted to show him oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. We have a, we also have a note. Do you believe us? 
I mean, do you have any proof? Oh, God. I go over to Braga and get the note. You're a little, too, you're a little too good, kid. Look, Garrick just hired assassins. Oh, that's, that's some that's pretty good proof. Yeah, you're like... <laughs> that can, I mean, yeah. I saw that the assassins were here, staying yeah. in the building that yeah. Garrick does own. <laughs> and I guess this really confirms that it. That is the seal of Garrick. This is the paper he uses, the pen. And, then, yeah. and in fact, you know, his motive, guild. his motive oh. isn't horrible. His just approach is bad. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. He's not even a 100% wholly bad person. He just wants to see his wife get very sad. Mm -hmm. But but he's just oh. a, really hurting people in his path because he's grieving outwardly. It's really unhealthy. There's so a, we're, There's a lot of plot here, but we just need you to like, be on our <laughs> side, though. I'm just saying, you're an empathetic yeah. human. Mm -hmm. Uh, smidgen and uh, just yeah. trying to give and you there's some also time. like yeah. no time we have to like infiltrate right, right now, now. I mean, I've been told I've been told ever since I was young that I was I was destined for great things and I was uh, destined to be a friend and to and to help someone you just did it you just accomplished all those things so can we get in there now oh I can do you one better uh, oh. uh, I've got some space in my house what? if you'd like to come stay with me uh, uh, th there might be some more sad. I don't know if it's really smart for you to stay here right next to the Assassin's Guild, but uh, I got a good loft if you want to stay in a loft. I, I love a good loft. Uh huh. And. Uh huh. Oh, well. There is something else. More. There's been talks around the Merchant's Guild of. of an item that's just been required. Uh. Uh, and 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 if you really are here to make sure that Garrick doesn't do anything bad, and if you're really here to to help make sure the good things happen, um, I could I don't know something about this thing. It's it doesn't. A lot of people want it. It's, they're putting a very high price on it, and they've they've locked it away. They don't really do that with too much in the Merchant's Guild. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta they don't show, do too much. Gotta show us where it is. We need to. We are he our mission. Just to just let him tell us. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Just go mm -hmm. keep talking. Keep talking. Well, it's a little late tonight. I'm I'm getting pretty tired. My shift's almost up. Can I take you in the morning? Yes. Okay. All right. You Tomorrow. Can. You. I just just say right now again. Mm -hmm. you, you 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 accomplished what people told you you were, and now you just exceeded it. Mm -hmm. So good, because I was part of a prophecy. Oh, holy, wow. Wait. The, uh, the you were? Uh, or it was? Uh-huh. You were a part, you were part of the process? Oh, that I was told since I was a little kid that I was, I was to be a friend. And that's, that was my destiny. That's what I'm supposed to do. I love, I love that. That's the, well, cu you're, that's the cutest thing I've heard. You're today. a friend of the Rat Queens then. You're not a Rat Queen, you're a friend of the Rat Queens. Good oh, job. Wonderful. Let's, let's go to sleep now. Yeah, uh, I think, I think. Jiminy is just about ready to be here. Uh, uh, just about ready to take my shift as the guard. We should so, leave before Jiminy comes. Yes. Yeah. We don't know if Jiminy's on the side of good or not. We we were gonna hide. Oh. We're gonna hide. We're gonna hide. You're gonna act like nothing happened. Yep. We're gonna. We're gonna. You're gonna rendezvous at your loft with That's us right. at your loft. That's exactly right. Yes. Uh, uh. Here, I'll just um. Go down Main Street. Take take a left at the potted plants, and it will be uh the yellow bricked house. With the red door. Oh, I know that house. That yeah. that's a we'll see you there. We'll see you there. We won't. We won't even pick our pickpocket our way in. We'll we'll just wait for you. You know we're excellent thieves and. You oh, know. you're the rat queen. Yeah, we're awesome. You're yeah. kind of rowdy, but I mean, you do you do keep the nastiness out yeah. of Palisade. We're a little rough around the edges, but we get the job done. Mm -hmm. yeah, there was a big fight in town today. Is we gotta go. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll have to see you. We'll, we'll see, see you. There, buddy. Five, yeah. five, five to ten. You said left at the pot of plants. Yeah, left at Ref, the pot of red door. Red, red door. door. Red door. Red door. Red door. Later. Whoosh. <laughs> as as the dip, four dip, of you as the four of you walk up the street, we see we see. Tom Wary sitting there uh, just kind of waiting as Jiminy kind of comes up. Hello? Hey, hey Tom Wary. It's time of night shift. Am I right? <laughs> and uh, Tom Wary's like, yup. It's, oh, it's uh, it's nothing really is happening here. Everything's, oh, I'm tired. Have you ever been really tired? I'm so, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so tired. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you have a great shift. Um, 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 the, the contract has not shown up yet. I was supposed to tell you that uh, none of none of them have come back to the to the stay. So uh, don't know. Is the job done? What Mr. What Mr. Garrick wanted? Yeah. Well, if 
none of them are coming back. Gary might want to hear about that. But, uh, you scurry on home, Tom Wary. Go sleep or something. You're acting real strange. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm great. I'm great. I'm so good. I'm just, re- oh, no, I'm not great. I'm real tired. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm real tired. I'm going to go to bed now. Just by myself. Bed in my house. I wish I, wish I had someone. Oh, I'm lonely. Uh, he's just kind of walking backwards, <laughs> mumbling. Yeah. Uh, all right, Tom, where I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna just sit here. As you see him start to like light up a pipe, you start to see Jimmy just kind of light up a pipe and just start smoking and just kind of sitting on the stool, uh, guarding this small inlet of uh, the Merchant's Guild's kind of side warehouse. As uh, we cut a few hours later to the small smidgen home of Tom Wary. The ceilings are pretty low. Brog, you're having to kind of like keep your head low in this small little home. But it is pretty cozy. It's very nice. You see, uh, there's a picture kind of on the kitchen of, of what appears to be Tom Wary as like a little boy well, next to uh, a dark-haired smidgen, like a smiling little little boy, dark-haired smidgen. They're smiling in the picture. Oh. All right, Tom, we're going to go to bed now. Uh, Thanks. Uh, uh, oh, can I get you any tea or any any milk no, or anything before bed? No. Uh, uh, there, are, there are blankets up there. Um, I just keep them up there. Who's, your, get- who's your friend in the picture? Oh, that's my, oh, that's my, uh, my friend since birth. His name, his name's Frolin. 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 Uh, he's, he's a good pal of mine. He's, he's kind of, yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he can be kind of a, of a jerk. But, uh, you know what, what, you know what, I, I still see the good in him. He's still a friend of mine. Wait, what about it makes him a jerk? Oh, he's just really kind of bossy, and he's just kind of like, kind of grumpy. Mm-hmm. Doesn't like to do very whiny. Doesn't like to do <coughs> things. Let's kind of people walk over him. And I, I'm kind of the one that's like, when we were kids, I'd be like, I got you. We're gonna do this. Everything's good. Come on, come on, Frolin. I got you. I'm not gonna let you down. Uh-huh. That was that was our relationship. Don't know where he is now. Uh-huh. He did, I came to Palisade, uh, looking for something, so, looking for my life, uh, and he he just kind of stayed back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool, nice backstory for for you. Uh, so, 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 what's on tomorrow? Uh, the, the, but, the, 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 the thing that they're hiding? Uh, can, can you tell us, like, where it is? Do you know or what it is? anything about it? Yeah. Uh, I think we, we can wait till tomorrow. We just could take a nice, good sleepy. All right. And you'll take us. Right as his shift starts, yeah? Uh, I mean, well, I, I don't know if you can just walk in the building. Yeah, this, uh, these, these are good con- contextual pieces of the puzzle, I think. Perhaps I can I can figure out what's going on. Do you know what it is? The item that everyone's so f- worried about? I don't. Mm, I haven't seen it. It's in a it's in a like a steel box. It's in a locked box. Uh, but everyone's kind of. Some people are really into it. Some people are kind of just laughing at it. Uh, who who is who's laughing at it and who's into it? Out of curiosity. Oh, I'm just, I've only heard... I didn't know the faces. Uh, I've only heard murmurs, but um, I don't know. There's, there seemed to be a few voices of people that were that were really into the, whatever it was. And there were other people laughing at them, saying they were kind of, oh, oh, fanatics, you're such a fanatic. Oh, it's just stupid. It doesn't exist. It's not real. Fanatic. <laughs> did, like, you, uh... did you hear them say any names of, like... What it could be attached to? Did the name Arius come up at any point? Oh, I'm gonna have him roll. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going. It's going fog. It sounds. It sounds familiar, but I can't. I can't put my little smidgy finger. What about Nurigoth? Was it Nurigoth or Arius? Uh, okay. Roll me. Right. Yeah. Roll me 2 things was hard. Okay. It is late. It is late. It's late. Why are you trying to stop us from finding information? I'm tired. That's fair. That is going to just be a six. And I use my last token to make it a seven. You have two tokens, bro. Oh, well, I'll use one of my last tokens to make it a seven. Wonderful. Oh, well, Nariko, this is that's the god of, uh, of, the, of the other p- of people. This is kind of spooky tentacle thing. 
Yeah. That's, that's just, I mean, that's a religion that some people follow. I mean, I like to follow. Uh, I, no, I don't really follow anything. What was I going to say? Uh, my mom follows Lady Love. I don't really do it. I haven't heard a calling to anything in particular. I know there's like a light god, there's a time Okay, god, but you don't think that they were talking about Narigoth and you think they're talking about something else? Well, I think Mr. Garrig has been up to something, but there's there's someone else who's been... Someone else who's okay. really interested in this book. So okay, that's that? what I wanted who's to know. that? Oh god, he doesn't know shit. Well, it's close. It's in his brain somewhere. He's trying to Look, let me let me sleep on it. Maybe I can get some, maybe a, a long night. It's been it's been I've been I've been having to watch that's, assassins that's go fair. in and out of their yeah. of their home, and that's been a little like oh, do you say something? See something? Say something? Yeah. Uh, I, when I'm you saw something, you said something, and good mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, you're a friend. Yeah. Was it friend. too late? No, we're good. No, we're good. No, no, no. I feel mean, good. Just, and even if yeah. you can't remember all the information, yeah. we can always go with you tomorrow and try to find that information because we're all very good at sneaking around and figuring that stuff out. Yep, yep. especially some of us. Yeah. yeah. We will... I'm the best. All right, it's all done. We will, we will stop this bad stuff thing that's maybe going to happen in a little while. Uh-huh. We got this. Okay. Tomorrow, us... We're all of us. We're gonna roll out together like a team. Rack queen. Rack queen. Rack queen. Yes. Good night. Yeah. Okay, we're going. Gonna we're going night. Okay, okay go. Go. Oh, it's right upstairs. It's a loft. It's a loft okay, right upstairs. Is there room for to have multiple beds? We're I mean, it's gonna be like a pallet situation. Okay. We're gonna have to put like stuff on the, the pallet. We can just make that work. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't know why we're whispering. Head to foot. Head to foot. Because it's bedtime. Okay. Prepare yourselves for sleep. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay. All right. We're all gonna go to bed. It's gonna be okay. Four of you are like climbing up the stairs. Everyone's whispering. Good night. Thanks again. As the four of you, Hannah, Betty, Violet, Braga, uh, kind of cuddle up, make, kind of situate these blankets and kind of stuffed kind of cushions into pallets as you all cuddle up for the night fairly closely in this small attic. <laughs> I'm going to be so sore. Mm -hmm. We see uh, Tom Wary. Uh, climbing into his comfortable, like, kind of smidgen-sized bed and and oh, just smiling as he falls to sleep, happy to know that he is helping those in need. As we cut to the Merchant's Guild, we see a pair of hands open a safe, pull out the box, take out a hand of no. keys, no. file through the keys, click open the box... Look inside and see what appears to be a black stone skull. It does not glow. It does not look alive. The person just... <sighs> it's real. As they close the box, they file through the keys, they close the lock. They put the box back into the safe. They close the safe. And they make their way down out of the VIP storage container. The VIP storage unit of the Palisade Merchants Guild. And that is where we will end Ooh. tonight's uh, no. story. Thank you all so much for joining us for chapter one yeah. of the uh, chapter chapter Two, three, uh, episode one of chapter three <laughs> of the Rat Queens RPG, where we are back in time. So far, doing a pretty good job of not interfering with the timeline. Yeah. Uh, almost goofed up a few times, but we'll see what happens I next. See more so of back in time. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you all so, so much for donating and thank you so much yes. for supporting this show and providing so much help. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Yes, you thank you. We got thank so you. many good things. Uh, let's go through and let's thank some of these people really, really fast. Thank you to those who helped make tonight's show possible. Thank you, Peak One. Peak, Peak One. one. Keen456. Keen456. Zauron23. Zauron23. Dan Bowski11. Dan Bowski11. Metsu's Phantom. Metsu's Phantom. Metsu's Phantom. Metsu's Phantom. PR Phantom. 2002. PR, PR fan 2002. 2002. Aliza. Aliza. Ben Osteen. Ben 
Dynasty. Dynasty. Rage Cage. Rage Cage. Dambowski 11. Dambowski 11. Shadow Uzumaki. Shadow Uzumaki. Super Mega Ultra Hyper Force. Super Mega Ultra Hyper Force. Shadow Uzumaki. Shadow Uzumaki. Bit J Pistol. Bit J Pistol. Ben Osteen. Ben Osteen. J Pistol. J Pistol. Doomsday Danny. Doomsday Danny. J Pistol. J Pistol. Zaron 23. Zaron 23. Aztec Lucha. Aztec Lucha. Papavore Andy. Papavore Andy. The Doctor. The Doctor. Doomsday Danny. Doomsday Danny. J Pistol. J Pistol. And Aztec Lucha. Aztec Lucha. Thank you so much, especially for this two wonderful NPCs. We will definitely see them making more appearances in Palisades throughout this episode and possibly the future if they survive. We will see what happens to them. Thank you all so, so much. Hyper RPG cannot survive without your amazing help. Thank you all. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. You can catch the Rat Queens RPG regularly here Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific time live on Hyper RPG. If you're loving the show, make sure to use the hashtag Rat Queens hashtag uh, to talk about the show on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you like, wherever you think people who would love this comic or who want to get interested in this comic. Wednesday is comic book day. Why not treat your friends, treat your family oh. to telling them about the Rat Queens and this amazing comic that they can pick up in stores or on any kind of comic app that they love. And before we go, let's kind of go around the table and say where people can find you a real quick. Great. You can find me at Jessica Verdi on Twitter or Jessica Lynn Verdi uh, on Instagram. And I encourage you to go to ripleyimprov.com and find out how you can make my life easier. <laughs> uh, you can find me everywhere on the internet at I am Chubby Bunny. Uh, that's Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. And I also have a weekly uh, comedy podcast about Asian nonsense news. Uh, that's at senpaibuddies.com. That's S-E-N-P-A-I buddies.com. Awesome. And you can find me at Laurie Michelle Jones on Instagram and Laurie Michelle J on Twitter. And if you go to ripleyimprov.com, you can find out how to get tickets to our June 9th immersive dystopian event in downtown LA. Ooh. Sounds so cool. I am Riley Silverman. You can find me on Twitter at Riley J. Silverman and Instagram at Riley Silverman. And check out my writing on Nerdist and Sci Fi Wire Fangirls. Work. Woo, woo, woo. And I am Emily Rose Jacobson, your GMLE at frankly underscore Emily on Twitter and frankly underscore Emily with an extra underscore on Instagram and here at Hyper RPG we have a ton of amazing shows we have a Hyper Drive coming up this Saturday it's a field day Hyper Drive there's going to be a bunch of really fun stuff happening uh, lots of live kind of interactive RPGs Jess oh yes I am doing um, a reboot of Clue not the same thing but uh, I'll be playing around doing some Clue you got one yes I am going to be the GM of the det- the interactive detective Pikachu RPG that will be happening in a park sounds so awesome it's going to be so much Mine's fun in a park too but yours is cooler oh, I mean that's not true. Mine's really cool. But yeah, ours is cool. going to be awesome. All I mean, of, them, all of these both, RPGs are well, beautiful cool. and special in their uh-huh. own unique, sweet children way. Yeah, but some uh, suck and some So don't, be sure you know? to... T- <laughs> Be sure to tune in Saturday from noon to midnight, 12 hours straight of support and fundraising for this channel. It's going to be super duper fun. There's going to be so many amazing and fun interactive ways that you get to just control these RPGs. Uh, this is Wednesday night. Thursday nights you can catch Warhammer 40K yeah. here at 6 p.m., I believe, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, Fridays is Troll Hunters. Mondays is Colock 1991. And Tuesdays, of course, is Blood Curling Tales in Time. Thank you all so, so much for joining us at our RPG table. You are always welcome here at the Rat Queens table. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week, my queens. Get humped. And get humped for next Wednesday. Goodbye.